show is not brought to you by Bud Light. What's good? From somewhere near downtown Los Angeles, the City of Angels in MacArthur Park, where again the cake for some reason is melting in the dark. Carmen Town is now in session. Spencer, mother fucking Crittenden. And the mayor of Harmon Town, the one and only Dan Harmon. Break your body, break your body down. Break your body, move it all around. Everybody. Okay, well, that wasn't my fault. The song, the, the, you heard that. The song hiccuped a little bit. You got to support me if you want if you want to comport me. Whoa. <sighs> Off to a bad start. I don't want to be here either. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm just kidding. I do want to be here. You, Thank you, you for coming. You want to be here. How, how many shows left are there? Like, it's what's gonna be the like shot clock? Six at? or something. I don't six know. Six left. Yeah. What would you say, Spencer? You're good at. I would math. say two plus four <laughs> plus. I would say fifteen. That wow. can't be right. That's a lot of shows. <laughs> That's a lot of shows. That's terrible. That's like, what are we, figure skaters? But also, we should have ended the show like a year ago. Look at these fucking crowds we're getting. I mean, there was like a good year or two. We should have ended no the show a long time Yeah, we would have got our asses in seats. Yeah. Well, a lot of people are making pilgrimages. I mean, I just, I myself, I, I moved away from Las Feliz, so I'm not at the drawing room as much. I walked over there to meet, uh, didn't walk over there. I, I, Dan, the details don't matter. Um, I went into the drawing rooms to, to, to catch an Uber with Jeff to the show, and there were several people. Shout out to my uh, miscreants from San Diego. Yeah, I got, Ooh. I got, I got. Uh, we got uh, Little Bear and uh, Gage out there. We got uh, who else? We... I got patched into a Burning Man group. <laughs> I've never been to Burning Man, but if I go, I have a patch that I can iron onto the back of my jacket. I should probably stitch it on. Uh, <laughs> Little and, Bear and uh, Gage, you out there? All right. Oh hell. And we got yeah. we got Jen from Cincinnati who was also at the bar. She was there. Jen, you, yeah. you with us? Okay. <laughs> She's like a little quiet uh, Dave Klein. Yep. And I also know uh, Jeff. You know you're a big fan of my Instagram workout. I am. I trolled you all day today. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, where, is is MLE eight oh five here? Whoop. 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 Okay. Whoop. All right. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a lot of mini upers out there. A lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of people coming out. They're so like, you "Oh my god, it's ending." You, you think our crowds are big now because this is the dying embers? This is the uh, the yeah, last. Yeah, like why would you? Why would you go to something that was never ending? Are you gonna miss it when it's gone, Dan? I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll miss it. But you'll be happy when it's over. Yeah. That's like the Sklar brothers have a joke that when you're um, when something is bad, your voice goes up when you're talking about it. You're like, "Oh, was that good? Oh, yeah, it was great." But if it was actually good, you're like, "That was great." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was walking down the road in a uh, Washington D.C. and I hear Jeff Davis, and there's Randy Sklar across I, the street from wreck. me. Don't twin high road us. <laughs> You just say there was a Sklar. No, but no, but no, but but here's the thing. I had just five minutes before that was walking out of the elevator and I thought I saw a Sklar. <laughs> and I was like, that guy looks a lot like a Sklar. I'm not sure which Sklar, but also I don't want a Sklar profile. You need to and, become and, a Sklar like, Sklar. Go, that guy could just be any guy that looks a little bit like a Sklar. Right. And then I heard Jeff Davis, and it was Randy. Uh, and I, I, I don't know why Randy's the one I know right off the bat, uh, but the one that I saw in the, uh, by the elevator was Jason. And they had a show a block away from the hotel, and they, they fucking killed it. They absolutely slaughtered. Okay, but slaughtered. to be clear, so you didn't know. You, you, well, said, the first you said you saw, I, th I taught I saw a Sklar at the elevator. I, I and the I saw... Randy story is they went, he went, Jeff, and you went, Sklar! And he was like, Randy! <laughs> and you left that out because no, you wanted no, people okay, to think. Can, can, I be, can I be totally honest with no. you? No. Can I be it? No. I don't know. Can you? Yes. Let, let me be. 
Let me be quite quite honest about this. Don't I thought I, I thought there was a Scalar sighting, but it was in my really peripheral vision, and that just passed. And then I was on the road, and someone yelled my name out, and it was a, a real deal Scalar. Right. <laughs> and I wasn't totally sure which one it was. You just rolled the and fucking I walked dice. Up, I, go, I go, hey, what's up? I said, I thought I saw Scalar walk up. He goes, yeah, you saw Jason. Randy let me off the hook oh, see, right okay, off the bat. Oh, right. That's all. That's all you had to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, but I. I but now I, I think after hanging out with them individually that night, I think you bring any Scalar in here right now. I'll fucking tell you which one it is. Yeah. <laughs> I I still can't tell the difference between the two guys that created HBO's Animals. They worked in an office with me for years. They're not yeah. related. They just both had beards, for, for and I was like, guys, for, for I'm sorry. For a while, sorry. only one of them wore glasses, but now it's a fucking, who knows? That's it's a, the it's a, thing. That was my trick, but now they both wear glasses. They both wear glasses, and I think Randy is the one that is more likely to wear a plaid. Uh, I think that's right. I, th- I think Jason likes his solids. I could tell. I could, I have, I have, Jason's a winter. I can imagine if I were a twin and the other one started wearing glasses, I would, after a while, I'd take him to dinner. I'd be like, how's your wife? How are your your kids that are are they identical to each other or me? Um, uh, anyways, enough about uh, that. Um, uh, I th- I think I what's with it. the glasses? Are you trying to be the smart twin? Is it okay if I wear glasses? I would I would nip that in the bud. Right. Like but, I, w- I I wouldn't mind any other gimmick, but if my twins started wearing glasses, I'd be like, I'm allowed to wear glasses too. Don't do that. Right. Like I'm not gonna be the fucking Simon of these chipmunks. <laughs> or wait. No, I'm sorry. You are I'm not gonna. gonna be. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna. Let, I'm yeah. not gonna be the fucking Alvin. God, I fucked it up. W- what if one just started wearing a monocle? But then, if I know the Scolaris, and I think I kind of do now, they, they'll just fucking trade monocles. Yeah, and, and then then you're fucked. Well, that would be cool. Like uh, if if you had a twin, I would I would do like a what's it was Zorax and, and Z- Xenon or whatever those guys were. Like one had a scar on one side of his face, and the other had. Yeah, but like, then, let's do that. But then, then I gotta remember which side the scar is on. No, yeah. no one does. But you would, you you would, if someone had a scar on a different side of their face, you would be like, oh, that's Randy, for sure. Right. Like you, it would just, yeah, it would work. I it would think, make them unidentical. I, I'm not gonna uh, enumerate what I think are the differences between them, but I think I could, I can totally nail who, who is which right now. Jason used to be the one with glasses, and now they both got glasses. Yeah. That, that no. was legit. because Randy was like, "What are you trying to pull?" I'm not the meathead Sklar. That's not happening. 20 years later. It's like, I've had it up to here with these glasses. All right. Sklar, Sklar's, whatever. You're you off can, the hook. You can go see them anytime you want. They're never going to quit. <laughs> they're they're, they're, they're going to be here forever. You're going to get sick of them. They're going to ring your doorbell. Me, I'm Salinger. You're going to hunt me down. So pay attention to me. What I'm talking about. You're talking about the Sklar's. All right, shut up. <laughs> So Dan, you, when when Harmontown is is dead and dusted and all gone away, are you going to ever wish that you had this platform, this microphone, this audience again? Are you are you going to be qu- quite happy that it's? This doesn't seem that difficult to re- reattain. Do you, do you, th- do you, do you, do you think right. I'm being naive about that? Because if, if anyone thinks I'm being naive about that, because I, I know that it would be naive if I, if I was like, well, I could just do it again. Okay, so, you, so you're saying that if you ever wanted to do it, you would do it in some other format. Or, or the same format. Like, but it's, just, it's just the cables that you plugged in, you plug them in again. Check, check. Hey, hello. Well, we'll do, but do. <laughs> like, it, it's not that hard. I never stapled a flyer to a telephone pole. I, like, you know, you make a couple TV shows, people, people will show up. <laughs> not as many as when you say you're not going to do it anymore. Let's just ride this wave, finish up. We'll take six weeks. <laughs> Classic this, Coke, baby. This motherfucker. <laughs> always, always thinking. Mm-hmm. I like uh, to imagine that the audience, when they were laughing, they were laughing at your audacity. Like, they're like, we're not going to fucking be here. Are you fucking kidding me? We're fucking out. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they aren't, but I just it's fun to imagine. Yeah, I, I, I hope everybody listening calls that bluff and <laughs> nobody ever shows up again. 
I wonder through the, I always, I was, I, I almost distracted because I'm like, always like, we have, when we have a guest who I'm like, like, well, we, this is a guest like in the, in the stricter sense, like, like probably not a fan of the show. They're just like a, 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 a person that it would be a delight to talk to. And uh, this is their first time being here. They don't know anything about the show. And then I listen to this first eight minutes of the show through their ears in the green room. And I'm like, what, why couldn't I be out there for this? Why is this? Why, why is it important that I be sequestered and then brought out? I don't. The answer is I don't know. What is it that separates the guest uh, part of the show from the non-guest part? I like it. I like to think it eats up more time this way. Like, yeah, it, that's probably true. Maybe I'm warming you guys up. Like, I'm the world's worst MC. <laughs> Like they're back there going, Phew, thank God, you know. Like do, do, I don't want to go out do there some, cold. Uh, do some like old school like uh, Carson or like Leno like monologue bits like 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 what's in the news? Okay, like, well like, let me. Okay, well I gotta go. Uh, tur- uh, Turkey and Syria are in the news today. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Well, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. Got to be something That's a funny good idea. there. Chef, Chef, Chef. <laughs> Jeff's got a good idea there. Okay, well there, there's no internet here in the. Okay, so what, what do you want? Like a, like a musical lead-in? Oh, uh, what, I like, mean, just, just just freestyle some good old fashioned topical like, humor. You know, Jack Benny, Johnny Carson, Jay Leno. Like a pe- like a, like a, okay. It was just we'll just like maybe it's like a like okay like a like a can it just be placeholder like like we're in a parallel dimension we, we sure. don't know okay so yeah. like you just want the cadence of like an opening monologue it, it's like so we, uh it's uh, tonight on right. you know and uh the Joan Embry from the San Diego Zoo right. and uh, here he is Dan Harmon right, right. right. Whoa. The, the, uh, picture a red a red curtain opening Dan uh, leans over and waves to the band. And here we go. Sha! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. I know you were paid to react that way. Uh, <laughs> what's going See, on? You're already doing it. You're already Wow, doing it. Ukraine madness. <laughs> I'm more familiar with the Ukraine now than I am my hometown, Jeff. <laughs> uh, it, uh, w- and w- what's your hometown again? Uh, Col- uh, uh, Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I know. Okay, so you could no, throw no, that no, to no, a no. room. That if there's a, good... a town in Ukraine, yeah. then it would be funny. Yeah, we could no, play but no, no, no. Like hometown, I, and then you go and I go Zelensk. Yeah. You know, and it's like I, eh, no, I chuckle. I, I, I'm saying if you just said you, you forgot your hometown, you said it was the Ukraine. Boom, laugh. Right. Next joke. You, like, so, like, we, so I fucked up. I fucked no, up. No, 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 no. I said you're you're you're, you're nailing it so far. So uh, next joke. Okay. So, so just like let, let's take it back. Uh, like. I, I remember a real joke that Carson did that I never understood. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> and and so I want I want to I want to do it. This is a mo- I remember I was obsessed with Carson because I have dim memories of right before Letterman like started, and the, it was just like I was obsessed with Carson. Then I immediately became obsessed with Letterman. But uh, like it was like I remember watching Carson. And I, w- I was just a kid. The, like, I was just obsessed with the idea of, of like making people happy and like performing and things. But I didn't understand any of the jokes. And uh, I, there's, there's, uh, like, but I would then later I would understand the jokes. I'd go, well, I understand that. Like Shelley Winters is famous for being fat. I, I, I can figure this out. Um, we didn't have the internet, but there was like an encyclopedia. You could look up Shelley Winters and it would say fat. Um, <laughs> She didn't deserve it. It was a terrible time. Like it, 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 there, there was no shame, and that included everybody. She's like it was Academy like, Award-winning actress. Yeah, it was a, it, like if you were a man that dressed like a woman, people would be like, "Ha ha, that's hilarious!" And it was like problematic. So we figured that out later over time. It took an internet. Um, <laughs> there was a show Mash, and there was, there was a character on it. He dressed like a lady, and it was like funny at everybody all the time. Was, now he'd be brave, and you would be an asshole. All right, so. <laughs> I, I, anyways, the uh, 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 this this was the joke that he did. He was like like uh, he was in his monologue. He said, "Boy, it's, uh, you know, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's been there's been so much smog in, in, in Burbank, but it, it's cleared up, Ed. It's all it's all cleared up. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, so much so much so much smog uh, in, in 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 Burbank, but then it, it, it cleared up uh, today. Uh, a uh, uh, reportedly a there was a robin." Uh, that uh, uh, saw it was eating a worm and spit it out. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I don't I, understand. Are, 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 you, are you, you saying sh- it's been so smoggy? Is your joke how smoggy it is, or is your joke how smoggy it's been? 
It's been so smoggy that all birds in Burbank like have never known they've been eating worms, which they do all over the or world. Or that worms are notorious for eating smog. Are, are you sure that's I'm, the joke? Well, are, are you, that's how I remember How it. sure are you that well, that, I that is the actual be, joke? I can't, I can't be 100% sure. Let's bring our guest out. <laughs> he's going to clarify everything. He's German. He's a YouTuber. Uh, I wonder if YouTuber is like a point of offense for, for people at all. Let's talk to him about that and, 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 and more. Um, please welcome someone who I am, was shocked to see how tall he was. <laughs> because it's just... YouTube and stuff, and then you just see a head, and then you're like, whoa, that head's far off the floor. Um, uh, please welcome the uh, illustrious, the talented, the uh, intriguing, uh, Mr. Flula Borg. <laughs> Lula, uh, pick a seat. You can sit anywhere you want. Yeah. What, what's best for camera? Interesting. He chose the middle seat. Yeah. Yeah. What does it say about me? You know me? what that means. Yeah. I Tell me, it's... Spencer. Oh, boy. No one ever chooses that. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Were you talking about Tomax and Xamot? Yes, to to Tomax Joe's? and Xamot, yes. 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 G.I. Joe, the Scar Twins. Yes, yeah. yes. Scar Brothers. Were you a G.I. Joe guy? Yes. <laughs> was that what, how, how, how you grew up in Germany I did grow up in Germany yes oh sorry improv yes and yes I loved those. and I uh, next Poland and no 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 yes and no, no yes no. and for Germans yeah, yeah, no 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 <laughs> listen yes. never it's we yes. tried it twice the third yes. time not to try it's draw. yes Sudetenland <laughs> not yes and okay. that's a sure. World War II joke it's no nice. no you grew up you grew up you grew up in Germany sorry again for everything so <laughs> But were you like Hasbro age in Germany? I don't know when you when you when you left Germany. Got it. I thought that, that was like an insult. Like was I a has been before I <laughs> entered here? So it's like second career. Let's try it. YouTube subscribe. Hasbro, suck it. the manu <laughs> the manufacturers of GI Joe. Yes, Hasbro. Yes, yes, yes. I I played with the GI Joes, the GI Joes, and also Mask. Do you guys remember Mask? Mask. I, I was oh, into I'm mask. a '57 Mask. Chevy. Suck it. I'm a tank. Yeah. <laughs> what was the theme song to Mask? I used to know it. Uh, oh, uh, mask, Mask. It's the something power. Almost GI Joe. Mask, Mask. No We wish we were GI Joe. It was. It was basically like GI Joe, but not military. Yes. It was like take out those fucking drums. No. Add a laser. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe Democrats have kids too. Let's fucking like these guys are financed by a philanthropist. Oh. I had to do the Dukakis tank. Did you have that? <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> that, is, that is some fast fucking connection shit. Not to ruin your joke by analyzing it, but that was, oh. that was, that was some lightning fast Ethernet fucking joke crafting. Not a joke. The I Dukakis actually had the tank. Dukakis tank. You just tank. heard Democrat fucking thing and you were like, Dukakis tank, fuck it. You're I'm sorry, I followed the 1988 presidential election closely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who, is it, who is Dukakis' running mate? Oh, yeah, Monroe, Earl Monroe, Earl the Pearl. Wait, was it? <laughs> Lloyd Benson, Lloyd Benson. Fine. Was it? Wait, wait, who was it? Geraldine Ferrara. Ger yeah, okay, yes, Geraldine I, Ferrara. I just wanted to know if he knew more about Earl our the Pearl politics Monroe. than we did. Finger right. roll like a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 I didn't have to get hung up on my question, but I just yes. want to know, like, were, oh, you, sorry. were you, like, 10 years old in Germany, but into G.I. Joe? Everything is very tardy in Germany. We've just received Lethal Weapon 4. <laughs> so, it takes a long, long time. Well, is, there, is there a funny title in German? Like, <laughs> I, I like when movie titles are, are, are different in other languages. Yes. Would you like an example? Yes, I would. Right. <laughs> yes. So diligent. Yes, yes, I fucking would. My most favorite of the films is Die Hard, Die Hard? Uh, starring Hans Gruber and Who Gives a Shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Does, uh, does Gruber mean something in, in German? Yeah, legend. Jesus. Moses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's when you get an SUV at Uber. It's like when you're traveling with friends. All right. All right. Oh, to answer your question, die hard, in German, die hard, which mean, would mean like die with difficulty, which who cares? Right. So we have changed it to stirb langsam, which means die slowly. No. Oh! Is, that, is, that, is that true? Oh. Yeah, I That's have the movie poster. I took a die photo slowly. of it. Would you like to see it? I have the movie poster in my Wait. living room. What? It, 
He, uh, just, went to, he just went to an, an Aztec fanny pack. I just happened to take a photo. <laughs> and produced his phone. Sorry, sorry, cultural song. recreation or whatever okay. you call it. Yeah, that, I mean, die slowly. Die slowly. I, I'm assuming die, that I, die slowly, stirb langsam. That is really funny. This was not funny. planned. I just take a photo of it every morning as I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Stirb langsam. Stirb ja, langsam. Stirb langsam. Close enough. Die slowly. Die slowly. Yeah. By skyscraper. Wait, is, that, is, is that a command or is that something like, like what if you just died less When fast? spoken in German, it's always a command. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have requests. <laughs> there's no I in team. There's no requests in German. <laughs> Germany learned the hard way that if you ask permission, you just end up... Yeah. Uh, Twice. Yeah. Sorry again. <laughs> what was... Uh, oh, would you like another one? I, I, give me three million of them. Okay, great. Here's number one. Okay. Uh, gorillas. Oh, oh, do you have no the gorillas in the mist? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the lady and the monkeys? Diane, Fa Diane Fossey, I think it was, right? Yeah. Diane Fossey, that's it great. It was... Uh, Sigourney Weaver, I think? Yep. Yes, yep. yes, that one. Um, so, if you say gorillas in the mist in German, it literally means gorillas in the manure. Because mist means manure? Yes, excellent. Uh, so, we have, we have changed it. <laughs> excellent. We have changed Dan, it. Dan, you're now German. Rosetta Stein, I like it. <laughs> um, gorillas im Nebel, we changed it, which means gorillas in the fog, which sounds like a weather forecast. Right. Gorillas in the fog. Gorillas in the fog. I think I'm, I may have mentioned this in the show before. I was in Italy and Hudsucker Proxy was out in theaters and it was called Mr. Hula Hoop. Yes. Yeah. Spoiler. Yes. <laughs> Holy exactly. shit. That is we just need direct reasons. Why should right. we watch this? Hula Hoops. In, uh, yes. in, Ch in China, I think uh, Lethal Weapon was called Heavenly Sounding Cannon or something great. <laughs> like, that, that's a better movie. Much better. Yeah. 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 Uh, Heavenly Sounding Cannon 2. I'm into it. Yeah. Two cannons. Two cannons. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when you left Germany? Uh, I left as an adult who could vote and have beverages for adults, which I guess is 12 in Germany. So I left <laughs> after this. Yes. Would you, would, did your fa so your family moved. You weren't like a runaway. Like a I was not a runaway. No uh, soul asylum for this right. one. Yeah, no. Uh, I did just come to try to become a hype man for uh, hip hop concerts. All right. So that's why I moved here. And uh, then I won a contest for hype men. And then I stayed. <laughs> what, what is the, uh, the ingredient for being a great hype man? Uh, you had no understanding of anything. Just, you need to not know anything. Just yes ending. Yeah, really. yes ending. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's perfect. It's, it's just it's Flavor Flav, the, 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 the Thomas Edison of hype men. Yes, he's the Thomas Edison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's the Do Thomas. you have to throw in a yeah boy and, you know... You, the, you, you can go yeah boy, you can go yeah girl. You sometimes just be like, yeah. I hate to put you on the spot, <laughs> Yes, uh, spot Flula, me, spot me so hard. Can you hype me if I, like, like... Oh, like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because it shouldn't matter, right, who I am or no, what I'm doing. It should not matter at all. I think uh, in German they call it Ja und. Ja und. Ja und. That's yes and. Uh, oh. which, can you give us a beat and then uh, Flula Excellent. will hype man me? And oh, then damn. We'll, we'll, Are there beats in this place? You have yeah. beats? Yeah. We just, we, oh yeah, baby, baby! How are you doing tonight, Mr. Typewriter, Mrs. Typewriter? Yeah! Get ready for a wonderful adventure, not in a city, not in a village, no assholes, in a town! When I say dad, you say home, dad! Dad! When I say man, you say town, man! Man! Dad, home! <laughs> Yo! It's a lot of calling and then also saying yeah. it. It's very simple. Yeah. Sleepy time, taking a nap, doing everything I can in my lab. Yeah. When I finish, I go to sleep. I quit. Sleepy town. Yo. I was just trying to challenge you. To like, I, was, I was like doing oh, the... Oh, that was that, Well, no, I was saying like, like the hype man equivalent of uh, doing sit-ups with someone sitting on your chest would be the sleepiest rapper. Oh, and oh, then you're the hype man for like oh, a sad, sleepy... I'm to push like, up I'm not doing you any favors. Oh, I love it, though. Like, I can imagine Flavor Flav would be like Chuck after the show. He'd be like, yo, Chuck, you think you can meet me halfway? <laughs> This is why I love this. I don't care. If you go halfway, I get very excited to go 150%. All right. Yes. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna commit to say, okay. All right. Here we go. Space uh -huh, is fun uh -huh. to go to. I'm rapping like a go-to rapper. Space. <laughs> going to go to space, go to a planet. Mm. I haven't even Can't had it, it so good in a year. I fucked your mama from ear to ear. Matthew McConaughey interstellar. Feeling so good from the floor to the cellar. Dan! <laughs> floor 
to the cellar, go and underground, go for a wine, look at what I found, got a cork. Natalie Portman wasn't Ronan, oh my god, sleepy like melatonin, Dan Harmon! Dan Harmon. Yeah, yeah, Dan Harmon! Dan Harmon. Dippy, 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 Dan Harmony, Dan Harmony, Dan Harmony, Dan what? Taking a nap, going out, taking no crap. Eight Look at hours of sleep, eight, eight hours of sleep, REM cycle, eight. That's what they say sleep, you need, eight, eight motherfucker. Hours of sleep, REM cycle, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible hypemanship. Yes, thank you. Unmistakably, like, oh, completely autonomous of the, it's, it's like you are radiating hype. Oops. <laughs> that's not a that's not a note. That's, oh, that's your five star review. Oh, thank you. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I guess what I'm learning is that the hype man doesn't have to be just a sidekick. The hype man can be his own like uh, soloist. Yes, it's like if you have spilled some Gatorade on the floor. Where does it go? It's any place. Who knows? Right. <laughs> Were you were you a Sugar Cubes fan? Who? Like like before Bjork broke Isn't out. Like ingesting for like. No no hypermus? Sugar Sugar Cubes B Bjork's old band when Bjork it was Bjork and then there was just this guy who was kind of her hype man. <gasps> no. Okay. <laughs> I've I've heard of Sugar Cubes as what you would dump in a coffee to get it hype. Right. <laughs> cubes with a K or with a C, Dan. Sugar Cubes just spelled like like mm. with a C, yeah. Oh, okay. That was the, it was Bjork Bjork. You know who Bjork is? Yes, yes, yes. Iceland, strange yeah. flamingos, meat. Yeah. <laughs> she before she was solo, she was in a band called the Sugar Cubes. Oh, this was her wham. Yes. Got it. It's like talking to Mork. You're like Mork. Mork. Mork and Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Flula, you've got the, my boss's uh, family is coming for dinner tonight. You have to learn how to behave. Zink zoinks. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so you do a show here at the uh, Hayworth Dynasty Typewriter uh, show. Like, nice what, what branding if, shout out in case yeah. people did not know. Yeah, you can you get if you if you were if you walked here and bought your tickets, you could do it again for Flula. But you probably already knew he was here, right? Who because did meet it? What's that? You did? No, I'm saying to them. Oh, I was yes. just, just in case they don't know. Okay. Thank and what's you. that what's that show like? Up and up. Uh, I just I'm like a man that sits where you are sitting and I have a looping pedal and I just make some tasty tunes and say words on occasion. How does a looping pedal work? Nobody I know it's a knows. dumb question, but like it's it, it's like it's like so like you 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 could go like biscuits biscuits and then you you, you hit the pedal and the, the the pedal makes it just keep going biscuits. The pedal biscuits, makes it keep biscuits, going. The pedal. Biscuits. So you forgot to hit the pedal first. So, right. So you want to go biscuits 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 gravy biscuits gravy biscuits. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, tasty. Mm. Nasty, mm. Jeff. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So deep. Change your socks. Mm -mm -mm. Baby chicken and pox. Yeah. Steve Levy and the vodka solo. Is that what summons the vodka? I yeah. sure. <laughs> we accidentally... Biscuits, biscuits, oh. biscuits. Green. What summons the tacos? <laughs> okay. I thought we had a good jam going there with the biscuits. That was nice. Yeah. Uh, you're working with Conan. You're doing the, the show is pr is produced by him. I'm I'm yeah, lost. Sound disgusted. Your, no, I it's it disgusted with myself because oh, I'm like okay. I don't I don't know enough about you. You're a delightful person, and I'm like I'm a fucking like I I'm a bad host and a bad person. So that's the look on my face. Is oh, what I'm love like it. Squinting. I'm very familiar as a German. We have all of these feelings every okay. day. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're, the German language would just st oh, stack a yeah. bunch of words. There, there, there would be a uh, that. That's what's what. What is the word for the, the 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 fact that you you can stack a bunch of words together and make a new word? Isn't there a German word? Oh, for Scheiße. That's what I'm <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We are twelve copies. It's probably of called words. Wordenstacken. That's how it works. Huh? Yeah, Wurden. actually, how did you Wordenstacken? Wordenstacken. You say it like this. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I I, I, I love uh, what's my favorite is for uh, common height. Vollkommenheit? Yeah. Now, what does it mean? P perfection. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. is it, am, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite is scheißfreundlich at the moment. That's got a the shit isn't there for yes, sure. Yes, it is. Okay, ding, ding. Is, 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 walk us through slowly. Say, say uh, word by word. Scheißfreundlich. 
And so you have gotten the first one, do this. Shit friendly. Oh, nice. Scheiß freundlich occurs many times. I was recently in Atlanta. And so if someone is there, like, hey, how would you like some turkey? Do you like it? <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> but you know, it's soon when they turn around, they are very miserable with their life. Uh. So <laughs> poop friendly is not a real friendly. It is a doodle friendly. Oh, I friendly. was right about friendly? Yeah. What? That's poop fr friendly? friendly? Scheiß freundlich. So if someone has like a face that is happy, but deep right. inside, they are just, they do not like you so much. Scheiß freundlich. They does it have to Scheiß freundlich? Scheiß freundlich. Scheiß Does freundlich. it have to be focused on you or could it just be that they're because you said they're like miserable or is it, is it about their feelings toward you? No, so it, like like in physics the vector does the direction doesn't matter. It's just all over the place. Right. <laughs> it's not a ray, it's just a it's, uh, it's the fact that they're 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 comfortable wearing a, a mask. Yes. And F F F did you know that uh, Dan Harmon is a, a very well known Hosenpiesler? Oh. <laughs> oh, you are Hosenpiesler? No. Yeah, it's, uh, oh. uh, uh, I think I, 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 I pee in my pants. Yeah. <laughs> Horse and piss up. Horse and piss my up. Socks. Yes, my Horse socks. Yes, my socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Would you like one more? Yes, please. A Treppenwitz. Treppenwitz, a treppe is a stairs, or for you guys, this care stays, stays, what, you know, the steppy, steppy, steppies, what's this called? A case of stairs. A case yeah, of stairs. Stair stair Thank you, Spencer. Stair yeah. Treppenwitz, and a witz is a joke, okay? And so it is like if you and I are having some reporties, reportes or whatever, you're like, ah, oh, you say something rude to me. Uh, fuck you. And I would be like, oh. And right. then as I leave, I think of a good response, well, it, but it, I am already right. in the staircase, it, it is too late. Right. That's the. There's I, a I think in French, French it's uh, yeah. l'esprit le, le d'escalier. Yep. Oh. Yeah. yeah it, it's oui, the, oui. the spirit of the staircase. I guess. I guess you guys annexed that. Uh, we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah that, we said the, we wouldn't, and yes, then we yeah, did. Yeah. Well, they they they, they, they I, built the arch. Took six Who did weeks? they expect to march through it? Yeah. I think that that was born on the alsace lorraine which is you know a disputed uh, region between yeah. France. Well, it was Germany for six years. It's still grudges. No grudges. I love it over there. Um, what, what, what do you call it in German again? Also, ein Treppenwitz. Treppenwitz. Treppenwitz, yeah. So, because the, yes. the Treppen is the stairs? Yes. And the Witz is a joke, is the response. I do love the idea that both in both phrases, it's like the thing that stayed was the stairs. The stairs remained. Uh, it's like, 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 and uh, I think there's an English equivalent, like, uh, it just, it just stairway wit or something we call it. Like, yeah. it's, it's not a, it's not a oh. household phrase, but like, it's people that borrowed it from the, French, or, the it, 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 but it's. I like the. I like, <laughs> <laughs> I like the thing that stays as the staircase because that implies that you were on definitely a guest yeah. and definitely on the second floor or higher. And it also, <laughs> yeah. It, it, that, that, well, that's what's interesting to me is like, what does that? Why is that important? To the, there must be some reason. Yes. Is, it, is it like a Downton Abbey well, thing, like, or no, it's it, like, well, it's you were like upstairs? Me, I, or? I, I, it's like the. Uh, it's. Uh, you know, are you talking to me? Are you like, te oh, like looking in the mirror? Taxi, and like, taxi, like. Yeah. like like I, I I'm I'm like I'm a hero talking to nobody right now. It's the idea that you you got the comebacks. Yeah. But when why you're not? By the, why not the the l'esprit de sidewalk? Why not? Why not? Why not parking lot? Why not hallway? And the answer must be very specific, like in our psyche, because it's like you, to be going downstairs after yeah. you. I think it evokes penthouses. I think it evokes oh. like uh, modern metropolitan. Well, to live, to live on the ground floor uh, in France would be like lower status. To live a little higher up would be a little like. Up, it means you're in the style. city and you're like it's not like wit of the of the uh, pasture. Yeah, like 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 oh, <laughs> Farmer Brown like made a comment about my milking. I came up with something by the scarecrow. Um, it's the stakes aren't that high. It's yeah. like the staircase evokes this. Yeah, you're uh, you're on your way down and out of the building from a meeting. Yeah. Or, or, or from interview. a or yeah, or from a like a like a lover's nest, you know, like like you're you're leaving something important, and you, you on the stairway, you're like, ah, damn it, I knew the exact word. Do you know Hans Dampf? Hans Dampf. Hans Dampf. Like, is that a friend of yours? Hans Dampf. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what does Dampf mean? Steam. Yeah, Hans Dampf. You, you've never heard that? Well, that's like Thomas, Tommy Steam. Is it like an engine? <laughs> <laughs> it's a children's show. Is this a train? Hey, everybody, like, it's time for a Hans Dampf. Hans Dampf. <laughs> do, 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 hey, do, do, kids. Do. Yeah. Have you heard of a four-stroke engine? <laughs> No, I, I thought that meant like something like 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 if in English like Joe Blow like so, like like a, like a blowhard, someone who just talks. Oh, like if you're full of the air, the hot, full of full of oh, air, yeah, yeah. like a Hindenburg, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy's being a real hot yeah. stamp up there. Listen to him. Oh, you're just hot uh, stamping you, all around. You've not heard of that before. Did you? No, I've not heard this. Okay, no, it, you, is it something that you have? Oh, trying to get into the language. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can tweet it or no, something. I, if I, I, 
I'm only saying that because I was called that once. So I, oh. Uh, oh, oh, burn. Oh. Did you think of something later? Did you treppen with that? <laughs> Did you treppen, treppen steel from It was from a treppen schmitz. <laughs> Treppen what? Witz. Treppen Witz. Witz, yeah, oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. This is but what is your, so let's get back to your biopic for those that don't uh, know you at is all. Is it biopic or biopic? I say biopic, this makes sense, but sometimes people say biopic, I no, think no, it's no, stupid. No, it's biopic. Biopic is thank stupid. You. And biopic is stupid, yes. Thank you, great, thank yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> I guess I guess biopic means they have they've only seen the word in in print. Oh, like with chassis, the thing in the automobile. I thought yeah. it was chassis, and then someone. Yeah. I I, so, I, yeah. I never punish those people because I'm like, you read something. <laughs> <laughs> like that's amazing. And, and, and you call bagels bagels yeah, because exactly. you saw There's them that. in print. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like I, I would rather. Yeah. I don't want to. Like, it's like oh, thank you for like reading stuff. That's yes. nice of you. It's like a favor you do people now. Um, the, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. I lost my train of thought. I purposely derailed you. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> you you uh, asked him about his biopic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just, I just want to get back to your... Uh, because this is a, this is a story of... Uh, of uh, you, you, you're, you're 12. Your parents pack up. They go, we're going to... <laughs> We're going to Avalon. We're going to the, to the city on a hill. We're going past that Lady Liberty statue. We're going to the New World. Are we in Las Vegas? What is happening? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, you got your your. Did your parents drag you to America? Why why did you why what what happened? I was very fascinated always as a child with America. All German people just are. This is how it's part of the DNA. You mm. think? I think. I think you think. Who knows? Uh, so they are teachers and have summer breaks. So in the summer we would come here sometimes. So this was my first exposure to your to the disease of just America. Just vacations. And I got it. <laughs> yeah. And so then when I was able and legal to come, I, I attended your country. Did your parents bring you here just because they knew you were into it? No, everyone was into it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're slap like, raps. Like right. everyone kind of likes okay. those. You were like, Mom, Dad, I, I'm into America. And they were like, get out of my brain. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> yeah. Get out of my dreams. Get into my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is a solid Billy Ocean reference. <laughs> and also, you're wearing Billy Ocean sweater right now. So that makes it even. Yes. <laughs> Billy lent it to me. <laughs> what was the first, when you, your first trip to America in yes. that context, what was the, what city did you choose? Oh, uh, Cornwall on the Hudson in, near to New York City, which is outside of West Point. Yeah. Yeah. Why was that chosen? Uh, it sounds, I like that that sounds like there was like a, a dictator that just told me, here, we're dropping you here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a pen pal. I had a pen oh. pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and, an uh, international pen pal? International, yes. That's adorable. Expensive stamps, no phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. How, how, how long did you correspond with this pen pal? Uh, seven years. Are you kidding me? No jokes. <laughs> Starting from what age were you? Seven. And then, so you continued it till you were yes. puberty. And then it was like, and then, are you, is it oh. me or is letter writing losing Stupid. its luster? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I just want to stare in a mirror Wait. and, and uh, achieve erections. <laughs> yes. I'm assuming it, was, it, like, it wasn't on paper. You, you, you were emailing, I'm assuming, right? No, email. No, no, uh, writing, writing. For real. Of course. Uh, actual stamps and envelopes. Yes, it's writing that. chassis and all these other words incorrectly. <laughs> that is chassis. really cool. I bet that, I mean, like, like t who's this person? I mean, you don't have to, be, they, they, their privacy is their business, but like, they're an American person that's corresponded with you for seven years. Like, uh, I'm sure this had a huge imp I don't know. Am I being naive? I'm like, boy, no. that, that seems like such a great thing for a kid developmentally. Oh, it's magic. Oh, mail is magic. Like, when you receive a letter from a person that has been written by hand, you know, yeah. it's like uh, Shawshank Redemption. Things. But also, to have, have, have a relationship for years and years, was the entire seven years you'd never met in person? Yeah, correct. I mean, that's just like such a... That's like like doing a million sit-ups social media-wise. And someone is sitting on you as you do it. Yeah, and you're it, trying it, to it, hype it, that it crowd. It forces no. you, yeah. <laughs> how, uh, how, how did you first meet? I'm sorry. Oh, so uh, uh, I was classes. We are connected. So the, the two teachers would connect the two classes and say, okay, now you're going to speak to someone from the school. Wow. And you so, kept all the letters? Yes. I, my parents have them now. Yes. And when's the last time you talked to this other oh, person? Oh, it was many years. It was many, a, yeah. yeah, yeah, thousands of days. Do you, do, would you would you even know how to get in touch with them if you probably Google? But like, I am mysteriously incurious. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, 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 w I would be too. I would be too. Because it could only Wait, hurt did, things. Did that relationship kind of fizzle out and die? Or like, wh why did that go away? I think we just, as you yeah, said. It, they, they turned 14. and Then different oh, okay. things, you know, yeah. new kids on the block, yeah. hanging tough, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, 
That changed me too. There oh. was there was tough hanging to do. Yeah, so, like, so uh, much. I didn't know that you had to hang that tough. You do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you I was I was hanging much too supply. Yeah. But now wait a minute. So you said that the reason why you guys chose Cornwall on the Hudson, whatever yes. it was, um, is because that was the location of the pen pal. Yes. So that. Did you, did you guys meet face to face? We then? did meet here. So that yes. was it. Was yes. that at the fourteen? You guys were fourteen, and we met at the Caldors, which is an old mall outside in Newburgh. Yeah, uh, and 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 so you guys were like, "It's you." It's like, "It's you." And I said, "It's me." And then we like did a rap thing. A CNC Music Factory. Have you guys heard of Everybody Dance uh, now? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I, 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 I think yeah. I remember something yeah. like that. Dance. Pause. Take a breath and go for yours. Yeah. Oh my command! Now here's the dance floor. It's gonna make you sweat till <laughs> your groove is that open. Up. That's one of yeah. them. Sweat. sweat till you bleed. Sorry, sweat right. till you bleed. Thank you. Sweat. This <laughs> um, is so you guys. So you guys met face to face. You had an orange Julius together, and uh, <laughs> you guys never wrote to each other again after that. No, we were done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were like, wait. Oh, look at you. And look at done. you. Yeah. Remember that time you wrote that thing? Yes, yeah. it's right here. I'm holding it. Page what, two. Yes. Was it, was it, was it, do you, like, I, I'm sorry I'm making the whole night about this, oh, but this is fascinating it. to me. Do, what, do you, did you guys agree in that face-to-face -face meeting? We're done, right? No, it no. It just happened because of that, and you never acknowledged it, but it just happened. It is like when you are in love with a lady or man or a tree, whatever is your thing, and you speak for many, many, yeah. many months, and then it happens, and then it's like... Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, how could it... Oh, We it's cannot so talk this. That's really sad. Oh, it's great. It was wonderful. It was a nice reason to come to America and enjoy some things and, you know, have an orange Julius. <laughs> <laughs> we did have an a Cinnabon. Right. The whole mall smells. Why is the Cinnabon everywhere? It does not matter where you are. It smells of these juicy buns. I just wonder. I got my my cynical brain like wants to know those two 14 year old kids. Like, was it mutual? Was one of them completely disenchanted? Did there was there a chain reaction? Like, what happened? Uh, I know that I wrote to him one time, and I think maybe he also did, but we never, it never, nothing. Yeah, happened. just tapered off. Yeah. It was like, yeah, it, 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 I hope that he, that person is not out there somewhere Mike going, Bruno. Like, what yes, I fine. fucked it up. I fucked it up. No, <laughs> he's fine. I gave him my Starcom spaceship. Have you heard of Starcom? Uh, you push a button, it opens very, very slowly. The men have metal feet. It, <laughs> was, that, was that what Micronauts became? You I don't know Micronauts. Are these like a small part of Russia astronauts? Uh, <laughs> no, Micronauts were these like little tiny plastic guys with a million joints and they had plastic feet and everything. You, 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 said, you already said metal the, feet. We know, we know it's oh, not this. They take it inside the micro machines with a man speaking. Well, whatever. We'll figure this out. Like, 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 this, the, the, this could Is it easier to be a hype man in German or in English for you? Even in German, you use English words. You know, we just like to say them. Like all of our things are English. We have Lucky Strike, the cigarettes. All of the, pre all of the advertisements are always in English. It's like, son of a Bitch, <laughs> like a strike. <laughs> no, the, the, I mean you're you're joking, of course. But I, I, no, I, I think <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I I I think my favorite advertisement of all time is an early Lucky Strike, and I might be wrong, but I think it's Lucky Strike, and it was like in the '40s, so round, so firm, so fully packed. Penis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't tell if it's an ass or a dick. What like, is it? Yeah. yeah. I want to smoke it's, it. Whatever it is. Whatever, whatever you want to suck you, on. It's me, uh, a you matchbook. <laughs> you certainly want to light it on fire and put it in your mouth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we don't, we don't want to disenchant any demographic. It's fucking round and fully packed. Like, get your mouth on it. So round. Immediately. Uh... You'd All be right. a fool not to put it in your mouth. Well, so you so you so you come uh, with uh, your your parents. You meet your pen pal, whatever. Like America becomes this thing, and then there's a certain point. So I just want to then understand uh, uh, at what point because you, you said, and I like you're kind of a dry guy, so I'm not uh. sure which is true and which is not. But you, that you came here, entered a hype man contest, and then like, but I, I just want to know like, like, yeah, what, what point are you an adult and you go like, all right, that's it. I'm making the move. I'm going to be here on a tourist visa or a work visa. And then you're like, and then you're, okay, I'm staying and I've, I've done it. It's just fascinating to me. Well, the introduction, like the first taste of cocaine when the man's like, please snort it for free. You know, this was my Cornwall. 
Right. Yeah, that was my Cornwall. Yeah. And then some years later, I was like, I need to try this this cocaine for real, you know? Well, if that's the case, then can I pause you there? Because I yes. want to know, like, a 14-year-old German boy in whatever year, we won't date you, but uh, we know you played with G.I. Joe's and the... which. But yes, it, I did. If, if German moved slowly, maybe that was 1997. 2013. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, do you remember details of, like, comparing it to that? What, what is it? What is that crack hit of America? Like, what are, what are the... What 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 hits your lungs uh, that you're like oh shit maybe I should live here oh as a, as a television yes uh, you guys you had very dope MTV and then you had very many uh, call numbers you know one nine one two twenty ten ten two twenty with Toby Keith. Like, ten, one dollar gives you 20 minutes of call time. Is that right, Toby? He's like, yes, <laughs> pop up, you know. But you didn't call any of those. Yes, of course. Oh, did <laughs> you called Toby Keith? I called, he, was, he did not answer. It was rude. <laughs> I also called 1-800-USA-GIRL. And if you call 1-800-USA-GIRL, you can try to be America's girl. And so I would call as me, but like with a high voice and try to apply to win the USA girl competition. Oh, <laughs> All right, I can't. All right, I'm not Google gonna. It. 1 USA girl. Yeah. But it's not. All right, I'm not gonna be sincere anymore. I. I uh, These are real things. But, but it was like, like I, I, I believe you a little bit when you're saying, like, that was a thing. Like, the TV had all these commercials oh, on it for these things. But the whole culture is free and everything is cool. But it wasn't free. It was $1.95 a minute. It was a horribly expensive. I never paid it. No, you just. It's like, though, I ought a baby eats a boy. Do you remember this commercial? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you so so that I get so you're it's just c coming over here from Europe like the TV and that culture was actually like overwhelmingly a positive thing. Yes, and rule bending and breaking is so fun here to do. You know, like when after before I won the hype man contest, I was here before one time and I watched five films at the Burbank AMC 16, but only paid for one. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a Cinderella Man and and uh, men, uh, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Smith and right. then the War of the Worlds, and then it's a very because you can just stay in the war. theater. Yeah, who cares? In Be Germany, this will not happen. Yeah, right. because the <laughs> the Zero soft chance. underbelly of extreme capitalism is like, who's going to watch five movies? Okay, let's not bring and why would Italian we pay an usher to? Oh, okay. yeah. sorry, I thought you were referencing Churchill's Ital Italy strategy of World War Two. Oh no, no, okay, sorry. That, that's what I thought too. Soft underbelly. I didn't yeah. mean it's to a trigger, trigger you. It's a trigger. Sorry. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I didn't know a soft underbellies yes. were a they, trigger they came up through, They landed on Palermo and the other They, they went to Sicily. It's very bad. Right, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, look, it was a, I think we can all agree it was a very tragic war for everybody. Well, uh, it's our fault. Let's be real. We are the real dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We know. Now, I, I, I have a couple of friends that are German and, they, and uh, people... Uh, Americans that I know, like the, the kind of the joke is that Germans have a weird sense of humor, but I find that the German sense of humor is incredibly funny, and I think a lot of it is the wordplay. Like, because we are, as, as uh, English speakers, it's a Germanic language, like pretty l like largely. There's also l like Latin at roots and stuff like that, but we're very German. But my my German friends, the, 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 if they hear a word, they have eight jokes for it, like like, like which you've already kind of proven. Like it's it's uh, I find the German sense of humor really really delightful. Wow, that's very rare to hear. Um, <laughs> truly, <laughs> no, but uh, I have a, my friend from England. He was like, "Hey, do you know the difference between British humor and German humor?" I was like, "No, tell me." He's like, "Yeah, British humor is funny. Suck it." <laughs> <laughs> well, br br British humor is like you know also wordplay and irony and uh, but but the German humor in my experience is um, it's really like. Uh, punny, but in a, in a fun way. Like puns can be kind of awful, but like yes. the, 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 the the use of words to turn themselves in, inside out is, I, I find, very good. I like this as well. I, I feel like it is an affliction. I do not know that it's funny. Uh, <laughs> right, no, yeah. But yeah, yeah, you can't help yourself from it. I cannot help it. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> I love it. Yes. So Oops. you come over here, you enter a hype man contest. I do, yes. This is a real <laughs> thing. Yes, the Scion. I will send you the link. It's a Scion and, Hype Man contest in Chicago, Illinois. Yes. And, they're, and they're like, and I love the spirit of this contest. They're like, we want, we're looking for somebody who's pure Hype Man. Yes. And, and then they, they, I, I, I can see why. Like, you're, you're, yeah, like you you take the cake. And so <laughs> I wonder what, what, what did your parents do, by the way? Oh, ta ta no, taking the cake is good. No, 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 no you grab on a strudel. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I did not know if take the cake was a euphemism for invading Poland or something like that again. Just 
<laughs> it's, you're, you're not Borat. You, no. you, you know that taking the cake is good. Yes. Uh, cake is nice. I like cake. Let's take it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But there was a point where you, I'm just curious, like, what did your, what did your family do? Like what, there was a point where it seems like, cause, cause fast forward to the end of it, you're, 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 you're a guest on the show. You're working with Conan. You're all over the place. Your face is on postage stamps. You're, 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 you're a successful luminary. You're an icon. You're, a, you're a celebrated person. Um, and, uh, and, and like, I, 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 I'm fascinated by this, this fact that there had to be a moment where there was like this boat that like you, you're like, I'm going to just do this for real. Like, I'm not going to just have a fantasy about being like crazy and fun. And like, I, I'm actually like, I'm going to suck on this nipple and it, that's the, not a nipple. Dan. It, just a, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> Well, in Germany, it's also on nipples. I don't right. know. Well, <laughs> well, I, I, this could I, be regional. I, yeah. Welcome to America. It's a Boise nipple or something. <laughs> I don't know. We call, yeah, we're a very homophobic culture here, so we, we call, when we have to grip something and just put the whole thing in our mouth, we just call it a giant cylindrical nipple. Got it. Okay. <laughs> it keeps us straight. Yep. Uh, oh, you just want to chug on that yeah, fame. Oh. Yes. And then you tickle the under Get your boomerangs out, everybody. Um... But uh, that I don't a, know. That was I just, a penis, right? It's, it's, yeah. I, I swear this is the last. <laughs> this is the last biopic question I ask, no, and then we, can, then we can get into the present and have fun or whatever. But like, I just, I just want to be at that moment of of actual like because you're. Are you American now? Are you a dual citizen? Do you have no, citizenship? No, not American. Uh, but uh, maybe this will occur. I don't. It doesn't matter so much. Um, not anymore. Yeah. Well, now it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I mean, people... the last president was born in Kenya, and the current one can't read. Oh. <laughs> yes. Both facts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but, 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 uh, okay. but, but, I, I will yeah, answer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So this is, I know you, you I'm telling you truths for, yeah. for reals. I entered this hype, on, hype man contest for real. I did not know I would win. I thought I would be like the William Hung right. of the of the <laughs> hype man contest. I just wanted like one minute of, oh, look, it's right. an idiot. And right. then I can show this to my parents. Right. So because I did not know what I was doing, I won this. It's always nice to be confusing. If, if Part of hype, probably. Yes, yeah, like why? Like they would play a different beat. They're like, what beat would you like to hype to? Yeah. I was like, I don't know, beat two. <laughs> And then they <laughs> beat two. I don't know. But then they're like, then they're like, we're going to play beat three. <laughs> <laughs> and then this other hype man would be like short circuited, you know, like that shitty Johnny Five robot. But uh, for me, but did, I, did you have an MC that you would hype? Like, that, that, was there like a dedicated MC? There were three judges. Uh, one of the guys was Ant Marshall from the Lyricist Lounge, and then DJ Clark Kent, who worked uh, with JC, and then. Oh, shit, the third one. Anyway, so they... No, but, I was, but you're hyping somebody that's actually doing, like, rap. They said, no, there's no one. The rapper never appears. <laughs> that's the ultimate, okay. That's, yes. You're See? like, I don't think you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's just so, an eternal just voice. You're, you're, you're hyping nobody. But I, nobody. Can't, I still can't hear you. Yes. Yes. Are yes. you ready for yes. Dr. Xavier? Why aren't your hands already together <laughs> yes yes that's fucking wow crazy. when i say hip you say nothing no one is there yes right. oh well, um, yeah. so and so, is it like a two minute two minutes or do you do they tell you when you're done I just keep going and going like we would still be doing your sleepy song now right. if you guys had continued it because i and don't do they know. eventually put a hook around you or tweet oh, a whistle like the show time they go like it's bum over bum. you're done your entry <laughs> is some done wood, how does some it, wood how does it end when you're hype manning in your, as your entry in the contest it's uh, so the first time the, the sound broke so then I kept freestyle rapping and they were very confused that this continued <laughs> I said like, I didn't know I should stop <laughs> and so they enjoyed this <laughs> anyway so I won this thing and then I was like oh this is a, a, this should mean I should stay here and do more things and so then I just it is like in the Vegas or Reno wherever you go where Circus Circus is located yeah. And you just you keep making a double down of things. Yeah. So that's what I just keep doing. And you made a good call. You're, you're happy now, right? You're yeah. an adult and you're I'm uh, adult. You're 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 <laughs> uh, you're, you're, yeah. you're 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 not li lifting things for a living. Just weights. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you do you work out? I have to. Yes. Look at him. <laughs> I have to do it. It's a job. <laughs> yeah, I you was instructed to, yes. 
What, what, uh, what, uh, explain I, that. I, I received a project, and they're like, you are, uh, you are too skinny today, B-boy. Oh, oh, are you, you're in Suicide Squad. I cannot say that, no. Nope. Ah! Nope. <laughs> you're not, not allowed to say you're in Suicide that's Squad. That's false. That's a false. Uh, it's I not think, real. Well, I think James Gunn tweeted something. Well, I'm going to disagree with this tweet. <laughs> <laughs> People are very excited about that. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So you, 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 you know our friend Steve Agee then, probably. Oh, he is tall. Yes, he is. Yes. He's about your height. Oh, more. More? Oh, six foot six, player. <laughs> Did you call me player? Yes. With an A, it's an N, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, don't do a hard R on player. This is endear of tournament. A term of, you know. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, well, it's what the Germans would call an endearment termer. Endear, yeah. Yeah. You said it, I can't, yeah. Uh, all right, well, okay, so let's, uh, let's... I let's, think there should be a little, a little more freestyling, a yeah, little let's more let, high let, Yeah, let's, that's what I'm saying. I, well, I, I mean, how about this? Uh, I wanted to do uh, your uh, biopic, can, your can, journey to, to today. Thank you. <laughs> I did not Uber. <laughs> oh, we'll say more? No, okay. <laughs> could, could, could you teach Dan how to be a hype man? Like, could, like right, could you, right, yeah, could that's you the thing Steve is, that I could use some enthusiasm. Oh, so wait, and you could benefit from like what? Yeah, well, let me hype man you. Whoa. You hype man me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So you will hype me. For, so this yeah, he hypes you. Yeah, and you, I think that's a great you're, idea. You're, you're the MC. He's you're you're Chuck D to his flavor. Uh, and uh, l l let's see what happens. Okay, so some tips. Always ask a yes or no question, but it must be like a yes. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Does anybody want cupcakes? <laughs> Excellent. Right. Yes, who wants to drink diarrhea? <laughs> no. 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 Bad hype man question. Bad hype man question. Don't do that. See? Cupcakes, yes. Cupcakes. <laughs> diarrhea, no. No. These are the same as telemarketing rules, by yes, the way. Yes, these are very... You no. want to create a yes culture. <laughs> it's a yes or no. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. It's a phone Because tree. if it's all yeses, then we're all ready to get hyped. And right. But then what, what is the goal of the hype man uh, or, or hype person? Uh, is it to... Get the party started and put, yes. and put the MC <laughs> on, a, on on like a on a, on a floating cloud of yeah. energy, like Garth Brooks coming from the grand piano. Yeah. Up. and then all they have to do is just sing a song and do nothing. But maybe the, the crowd is already there. Yes, right. and in, and in the hype man's mind, yeah, um, is there such a thing as a bad MC? Like, 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 there can't be, right? Because you have to stay the hype man. Yes, you have to stay in those brains. You so can't you, go outside. What if you look? don't believe in your hype, uh, uh, your MC? What, what if your Can MC you is a, someone a, that you don't believe in? You're like, do I still have to hype this person? Every MC is your crystal light. You believe in it. You believe in it? <laughs> you believe in crystal light because you believe in me. Why do you know more references in America than <laughs> <laughs> all of these people? Television uh, commercials, I've okay. told you. Yes. Can there be such a thing as a hype man whistleblower? Or are they protected if they're like, you know what? You are terrible. You are ready for him, and he's not ready for you. <laughs> and that's a crime. Oh, shit. I need to be protected, this and is, I need people to not know my name is Flavor Flav. <laughs> this is why I was not a successful hype man in Germany, because this would exist immediately. Right, they would right. tell you right away, you are not <laughs> adequate, the decibels are too low, right. away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let, let's say you're backstage. You've let's just say you've just met your MC. Okay. You're the hype man. Okay. <laughs> let's say you've been lifelong friends. <laughs> we are friends. And uh, you're like, I don't think you got it tonight. I, I say I, this. I, no, no. Like, like in your mind, you're, you're like, thinking, I, I don't think the MC. <sighs> like, how do I? He's get had out too there? much to drink. He's oh. uh, he's Boy, unhypeable. Yeah. He, he's un unhypeable. Un Probably and, a dirty and, word and in you, your profession. You, That's fine. Are you a dishonest hype person? For going out there and hyping up something that you don't believe in. Uh, do you know who Kurt Rambis is? Yes, the f sixth man in the LA Lakers. Thank you. Okay, so. <laughs> Why? Wait, that's How not true. That's this? not true. Is it true? No. Yes. yes. Shut up. Uh, Kurt, Rambis, Kurt Rambis wore glasses. He would come in and give five fouls and go out and get yes. kicked out. Yes. And, and he would just punch <laughs> any. Uh, he would punch. <laughs> I have a, a German hype man and a guy yes. that sleeps in his suit. <laughs> and he said, do you know who Kurt Schmickenschmack is? And you're like, the sixth linebacker on the Lakers? No, he was the sixth man off... He was the first one off the bench, and his job was to foul everybody in clothesline any Celtic. Kevin Bacon. Saw. Kevin Bacon. Oh, Kevin Very Bacon. famous clip. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Not Kevin Bacon. Kevin uh, Bacon also. Six, know, six rules. Six degrees. Who gives a shit? Exactly. 
Uh, yeah, no, uh, go on. Why Kurt Rampers? Right. Why do you so, say that? Yeah, your point being. Sometimes Kareem Abdul Jabbar and James Worthy are just tired. Oh, I don't want to play today. I don't want to make a nice sky hooky. Great, bring in Kurt. Kurt will foul an elbow and make a dunk. Oh. Yes, he fucking will. Oh. But sometimes Kareem is ready for some sky hookies and Michael Cooper's making swishies and D's. That is Kurt, fucking profound. Kurt, sit on the bench, make a little swiggy swig. Clap, clap, clap. K- that okay. is a fucking beautiful idea. I, that that Flula, goes deep. Uh, can you name the starting five of the 85 Lakers? You named most of them already. <laughs> That's uh, not the important thing. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I just want to find out how much more of an American he is than we are. <laughs> Byron Scott, Michael Cooper, James Worthy, um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, and then Kurt Rambis on the bench. What the yeah. fuck? Uh, oh, thank you. Is this just Lakers, or are you a no, big no, sports no, guy? No, he likes that, that, is, that is the Showtime Lakers from the yeah, 80s. Yeah. I, preferred, I know it's offensive. I prefer the Celtics of this era. Okay, now name all the starting five Celtics. Uh, Bill Walton on the bench. No, well, that's, then, that's, that's, Dennis Johnson, Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale, Danny Ainge. Fucking hell. What the Shit. hell? I don't understand. I don't understand anyone liking sports. Uh, oh. I don't understand an immigrant but if, if knowing you were, sports. If you were ever going to like sports, that would have been the only time to like basketball. Pop culture it, for us is sports. Basketball is like the dopest of all the sports because of the culture. Why would Germans be watching American sports? It's cool. It's just cool, nice dunking, cool swishing. The 1992 Olympics. <laughs> nice, nice dunking, that, cool that, swishing. That Lucky be- strike. <laughs> that, that better be the fucking name of this episode. <laughs> nice dunking, cool swishing. swishing. Uh, yeah. As comptroller, <laughs> I, I'm going to decree that that is the title of this episode. But nice it's crazy dunking, to recall cool the, li- the lineup of cool these teams. Squishy. These aren't current teams, right? These are no, this is 84, 85? Middle 80s, 86, yes. Yeah. Well, the 1992 Dream Team like changed my brain. So like this is when this Magic and Larry were old, but yeah. they were still on the team. And yeah, so Charles Barkley. Yeah. This is when they, they were going to the Olympics. Olymp- yeah. They were going to basketball in the Olympics. Yes, like yes. Angola. They're so, like, what do you know about Pepping? Angola? I don't know anything about Angola, but they're in trouble, Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember that uh, <laughs> in 1982. I'm in fucking the, paradise right now. This is great. The, 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 well, fact, that the fact that this guy knows uh, the, the, the starting six or five and then the bench. Can you name anybody else off the bench of the Lakers or the Celtics back then? In addition to those guys? Yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, but, but still, the fact you got those is, is outrageous. I yeah. love it. But oh, it's, uh, yeah, who cares? It's just, it's, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy to me because it speaks of a strange pocket of, like, because I don't understand, like, the things that I committed to my memory at that age were so different. And I don't, yeah, I'm just fascinated by, like... Well, you have different pockets than my pockets, right? right There's a pocket, if you said I would be almost disgusted, I would take a shower from one of your knowledge pockets. <laughs> Thank you, but... <laughs> but no, hey, same, same of to, me okay, too. Okay, no, yeah, knowledge yeah, pockets I wouldn't might have gone be the title, too. Yeah, but Dan, 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 name the... <laughs> <laughs> Name the drop and loads guy from porn. <laughs> this is one of Dan's pockets. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't even remember. Uh, okay. No, I mean, what's his name? I don't uh, know. Dropping M- Nick Manning. Thank you. <laughs> Nick Manning, if you're out there, are you all right? <laughs> He's dropping Dro- loads Drop in the heavens. loads of a note. Bye. So there's this porn <laughs> star who, when he's coming, he says dropping loads. He says the words dropping loads? Yeah. yeah. Does yeah. he you, and pronounce the G? I think. Yes. Hard G. Yes. Yeah. He says oh, dropping, he does, he does loads? Dro- dropping loads? Dropping loads. Dropping loads. Yes. Oh, he loads. Yes. It goes up. <laughs> dropping loads. Oh, you want a hard G if and you go up there, with there's the loads. For instance, there's a porn where he plays Batman and he does say dropping bat loads. <laughs> oh, he adds it. Like, no. he hooked into it, and he's he's been on Howard Stern a million times and things, but no. he's kind of vanished. Oh. Yeah, he's oh. out there somewhere. Dropping loads. <laughs> Are you okay? We could hope. Anyway, but that's not important. He's picking uh, up loads now. Uh, <laughs> dropping. All of the dropped ones. I get it. Yeah, but, but, but is it better if he says dropping with an apostrophe or dropping? What, what's well, what's less matter. offensive? I, I, don't, I don't think that matters. Uh, dropping yeah. loads. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think that's cuter. I agree. I think it's cute. Less threatening. Yeah, I'm just dropping. Yeah. Wait, just like dropping laundry. a few That's loads long. off. Yeah, here's drop my whites. Here's my colors. Here's Is my it all right socks. if I drop these loads? <laughs> I've got so much to do. That's hot. Yeah. That's the that's his that's his soft core porn work. Yes. Like massage videos. Should I drop a load? No. Okay. I, I, 
I was in a porn uh, that was about a broken washing machine. You were in a porn? Yeah, was and it was porn? called Unbalanced Load. Oh, come Whoa. on. All right, we've had enough of that. Um, let me, let, let's, let's try this exercise where I'm your hype man, because I, I really think that there this would be therapeutic for me. And I, I, I find that profoundly inspiring what you said, even though, and, I, and it actually is making me rethink sports as a utility, because you were able to draw from your relationship with sports, where you're like, oh yeah, this guy goes out there and he... For that person to know, it's not his job to be a star, yeah. is, is how I'm interpreting it. Oh, that there's I love a this. heroism there that you can tap into where you're like, I am the hype man. Oh, yes. And no matter what this bag of dicks that I'm hyping, it's not, it's not a two way thing. Like, I'm not here to receive energy from my subject, I am here to hype. Yes. I'm like a jack. It lifts a car. It doesn't ask the car if the car is liftable and if the car says, no, I'm feeling heavier than usual. The jack doesn't go, fuck this, I quit. No. It's the, fucking like, it's defined by its it, jacking. Yeah, it's just jacking off and yeah. going and then hype, 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 hype. All right, so like, uh, I don't, and I don't have to know anything about you. No, to hype it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, like, but so we give, we do a beat. Wait, no. Wait. Okay, so some questions, some tips. Uh, okay. So as we were saying before, only questions. Yes, you, always yes, questions. And you ask, well, not like that. Uh, so right. you ask, uh, <laughs> ask. Ask the questions, right. and so they will say yes no matter right. what. Right. And then always something with two parts, so they know the second part, you know? So like uh, hip, hop. When I say hip, oh, then you say... Oh, okay, okay. But don't be confusing right. if you like... Right. When I say pants, you say people don't know. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Dance, we right, don't, right, we don't right, know right. what's happening. Right. Unless you want to make a little curvy ball, a little Nolan Ryan action, they are very confused about what is right. happening. A uh, famous athlete, I'm sure. Yeah, just who knows? Nobody right. cares. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. all right, that's another tip. So, uh, Five oh, yeah. only yes questions and no confusing call and response. Like, and no, yes. no mad libs where they have to like puzzle it out. Yeah, yeah, this is no Sudoku. Right. I have two and a one, three, right. three, space, space. Yeah. Don't, no. um, <laughs> if their hands are in the air, should they care or not care? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can even just say, wave your hands in the air, right. and then you can just watch them if you like. Right. Is, there, is there a way just between us? Yeah, no one's listening. Is there a way to wave your hands in the air as if you do care? Yes. I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. Wave well, your hands obviously, it's I, not. I, I think wave your hands in the air like it fucking matters. Like it, like like it matters. Like it's, like, I, obviously, that's been tried, and like it didn't work. Yeah, it, I've I tried feel. wave your hands like it's important for you. Yeah. And that <laughs> it doesn't. Just wave your hands in the air like this is the last time you'll have hands. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, it, obviously, yeah. that hasn't worked. It doesn't historically. rhyme. It doesn't rhyme as much. It elicits screams. Of yeah. like terror, <laughs> right? It's like after watching Human Centipede. These kind of okay. screams is what. You right. Okay. Is there anything else, or should we should we try? It? I would say last thing is uh, ask them to scream at the end. Ask them to scream. Yeah. So, like, at like, the but, end, but only, but only ask somebody to. And then don't ask everybody to. Somebody. Just ask somebody. somebody. And then say anybody. Anybody. And then elevate it to everybody. everybody. Oh. Scream. Oh. Okay. But not like so somebody make scream. it seem like it's a treat oh. to scream. Yeah. And then start permitting yes. more screaming. I yes. want. I just want one person to scream. Okay, then that's your choice. And then, then, yeah. <laughs> then you're a great phase one hype man. <laughs> like enjoy if your I, low throttle hype. If all I do in my life is make one person scream, then it was worthwhile. Then uh, great, okay. enjoy. I only have you seen hyping. Joker? That I think was his goal. I haven't well. seen it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Don't spoil it for me. I won't. Okay, I, th I, th I, th I think Dan, you you have the. Uh, the the, the the rules now? Yeah. Yes. One and I a... want you okay. to challenge me. Don't take pity on me okay. and bail me out by um, coming in and uh, and also being hype worthy. Like, Don't hype man you. Is yeah, what you're for sure. Don't bail me okay. out. Like I want to. And also, like... uh, whatever you do, MC wise, make sure that it only comes from the hype that has been driven by oh, well, what Dan. Did, has yeah. Created. Well, so there should be a thing. Like all of this has been about like the the hype man introduction, and then the and then the and then the star kind of begins. I will tell you, so the star doesn't matter. But it's what's your role as a hype man? man? What when that when that when that person is now performing? Like, Hydration. What? What's my job? Hydration. Yes. Always yes. hydrate. Metaphorically or no, literally? for real? Oh. Yeah, yeah. You just got to drink. Okay. It's nine eleven. It's nine eleven. Oh, we get drop that beat, Zach. Okay. All right. It's nine eleven. Right. Let's drop that beat. Oh, it's an odd time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is everybody sitting in a theater tonight? Good. 
Cut, 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 cut. Has everyone been born on a on Earth? Let me hear from my carbon-based life forms. Uh, um, uh, 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 I say shoe. You no wait. Don't. I I uh, 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 Use words. Use words. Uh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Stop scatting. I say peanut butter. You say jelly. Jelly. Peanut butter. <laughs> jelly. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Don't. Don't. Don't let the hype dip down. It's coming up. It's, it's every, does everyone have a first name tonight? <laughs> yeah. Something? I'm gonna bring it to the stage. There's somebody that you wanna see, and they're here. Please welcome MC Ashkabash. Yeah! Let's hear it for Dan Hama! He did that because you fucked up! But it's okay, you can bring it back! Uh, everybody, put your hands in the air the way you would if it didn't matter if you did it! Perfect. Yes. You absolutely don't have to have your hands in the air! Okay. So raise them in a way that you like, like feel that feeling of not having to have them up there! Like there's no outcome that will punish you. Just, just feel it flow. The ambivalence of your hands. There's a, you know, like, like there's a, there's a version of you that couldn't raise your hands. So that person's fine. It's getting a little cool? depressing. Little depressing, but yeah, fun. Okay, keep right. on. I just, hey, everybody enjoy breakfast this morning. No, that's, that's polarizing. Sort Does of. everybody acknowledge that breakfast is an important meal? Yeah! yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back! MC Kubanami! Yo, 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 yo! Kuba, 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 got me so sloppy! <laughs> bring that beat back! Bring that beat back! I can't have a heart attack! Bring that... Does everybody acknowledge the importance of a free press in a democratic republic? Yeah! Everybody appreciated antique carpet in their friend's apartment! Yeah! Does everybody think bombs filter impurities for cannabinoids? Well, I didn't imagine that was gonna split people up, but... Uh, does everybody think Golden Girls was well-crafted? Yeah! Here he comes! Whoa. MC Kubi Dabi! Oh, shit! Feel shitty like a stale daddy where your permit was not in the golden gun! Ah! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Does everybody know where they parked tonight? <laughs> uh, a Pontiac with license plate 3 UIM! You left your lights on! Does everybody agree that could make them run out of battery? <laughs> Alright. Very great, Dad. 20 more minutes, 20 more minutes. How can I hear you when I say yes, you say when I yes? <laughs> Go, hey, whoa, when I say Kooby Doop, you say, when I say Kooby Doop, you say Koop. Kooby Doop. Poop. Koop, Koop. Koop. Just everyone, did everyone read about the vice president being implicated in the Ukraine scandal? <laughs> Some of you didn't. Uh, fuck. This is uh, uh, just, very great. Okay. Oh, you're killing it, Dad. Does everybody? Yeah, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. You, what? Are you? Should you engage fans when you're hyping? You can if you like. Sorry, yeah, what, yeah. ma'am? Oh, you got it. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Yes. Does everyone want to see something on this stage? Does everyone agree that indoors is different from outdoors by virtue of enclosure? Yes! Does everyone agree that means there's such a thing as being out of the house and in the house? Yes! You don't have to prefer one to the other. Say it again. Do you agree on the difference? Okay, all right. The next performer is in the house. It's okay if that's not your preference. That's, 
think we're, I think we're playing Berlin. Yeah, yeah. This is getting bad. I went, I went too far. It's fine. It's fine. Does everyone agree that existence is superior to non-existence, even if only by virtue of the ability of existence to acknowledge nihilism? Yeah! Please welcome oh. MC Gabadoobie. I think, therefore, I am Rene Descartes. Have a lot of beans that makes me fall. All right, everybody. Look, at this point, if you bought the album, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you! All right, wait. Dan Hubbard! I mean, that is seriously fucking hard work. That was amazing. You like, changed many kidding. lives tonight. <laughs> But it's also, it's not just the physical, it is the actual, there is an emotional exu uh, I I I exhaustion. Oh yes, and the people may be nice to you, they may be rude, but these are your buddies and amigos, so it's okay. How are you able to have that on tap and unexpendable? You just keep going, you do not think about it. Just go, 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 stop, go, pencil. What do you say to people who say it's because you're a sociopath? <laughs> I look up sociopath, and then I kick them in the testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, you got any questions for a crazy new friend who we met all too late now that we're ending the show? We could have had him back a million times. Oh, yeah. So many questions. So what's your favorite sport? Basketball, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was that real? I heard a little tone with the word sport. Oh, no. Uh, what's people, your favorite sport? People infer a lot of from my tone, but it's entirely accidental. Uh, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Uh -oh. I like basketball. It's very nice. As yeah. I said, hot, it was a nice dunking, cool swishing. And, and it's become a dun yeah, dunking and cool swishing. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It's become a very uh, over the last you know decade or so. It's been a very European sport now. And, and now the the U.S. are sucking. Yeah, uh, yeah. is that true? So yeah. what what changed? Was it because of those Olympics with the dream team yes. and all that stuff? Yes. Like the Olympics. The, everyone's like, "Holy smokes, we can do this!" Dirk Nowitzki, top ten basketball player of all time, very German. Wood wood. Yeah, of course. And so now all of this, there's like a very large percentage of foreign players. Yeah, Spanish and uh, German. Argentina, yeah. Ever Africa. Oh, yes. I have to say basketball just about takes the cake as far as the intimidating sports. Like I could never. Intimidating. Yeah. Because I could understand baseball and I could understand like, okay, I'm worse at hitting the ball. I'm worse at catching the ball. But if I get good at those things, I can at least understand what's happening. Yes. But in basketball... I, they would pass me the ball, and then I would start to do something, and the whistle would blow. And everyone would be like, are you fucking kidding me? And I'd be like, what? I don't understand. Like, fundamentals, Dan. The you got another fundamentals. The ball has to bounce, but it, can, it has to bounce a certain amount. I, I just, I, I never got it. Baseball is nice because you can have one skill, and then you can survive. You know, there's like a very old, very large boys that can toss a ball <laughs> accurately, but there's nothing. They cannot run. They cannot hit a stick with a head of a ball. And is things. there any culture for American baseball? I say that like there's. It's like soccer. Like there's an there's a European, European baseball. baseball. Is there? But it, baseball is. There, is there any hope for that in Europe? No. It, it, people just look at that like we look at cricket and they go like, I don't understand. Why yes. are you doing that? There's no history. You guys have. I've watched Ken Burns' baseball documentary. You know, it's like. Right. Part of your history, like right. Lincoln and things. We don't have this, you know. Yeah. There's, there's no, like, Goethe was, like, you know, trying to steal third, you know. No, he's writing poems. How, how insular to England is cricket? Is cricket viewed the same way by the rest of Europe? Yes, I think it's England and then the colonies, the former yeah, yeah. colonies uh, right, of like India, England. Pakistan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it's yeah. like an English thing, so they're like, Sri if Lanka. you say so... So yeah, it's, it's interesting. Like, 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 we like we invent these there, yeah. things. We invent this set of rules, and then we go. This is this is. It's different from movie writing or TV show writing, where you go like, this is a template for stories that are going to be improvised by people through their athletic prowess, and you're you're actually creating. You're kind of building the equivalent of multicam sets for a sitcom, and saying Wings is going to be a hit. Like, like this is this is these are the rules. Like these people work for an air, airline, and then they here's the commissary, and they'll have will they won't they's over here, and then the like, and you and and things take off or they don't. But like so people go like, I don't understand football, I don't understand soccer, I don't understand like so cultures just either take it or they don't. Yeah, I don't know how much of that is visceral and how much of that is just hegemonical, if mm. that's a word. How much of it is just like fucking forced down your throat? You will like soccer. 
because that's what poor people can play in the street, and that's what all of these coloni- you know, uh, colonial powers like 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 brought. So the world loves soccer. Or, I'm sorry, football. Football, yeah, yeah. But it, 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 thank you. Like. <laughs> Uh, like that's like the big one. That's like the water of sports. Like because you can play it anywhere. Anywhere. Everyone gets it. It's yeah. truly based on like just the prowess of people running back and forth. Uh, what are they, what, What's my question? Um, <laughs> that's a good. It question. was a yes or no question. Yes. Uh, why? I don't know. It's just like it's weird. Why did we invent baseball? You saw the Ken Birds documentary. Why did we fucking? I, I, invent I, it? I have a friend. If I can interrupt for a second, uh, I go ahead. A, a friend of mine who is from uh, is a cricket fan, a rugby uh, rugby fan. He's from England. He's from uh, like southern eastern, no, so, southwestern England, south and, northern and, west east. Yeah, he's southern? like. I, I, <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, he's from Lyme Regis, which I think is south southwest. Uh, <laughs> he watched the Ken Burns documentary, never knew anything about baseball, and he watched it and he goes, "I'm a baseball fan now." He goes like, "Like the, he goes, I didn't realize the history behind the sport." And if you sit and watch a cricket match with somebody who really loves cricket and they explain it to you, you become uh, like kind of like you can become a fan of it just based on the weird minutia of it all. Yes. Um, I, I, I don't I, I, I don't I don't like the NFL I, I stopped liking the NBA the Major League Baseball I don't like the way these clubs are ran and the owners are all a bunch of just rich white assholes but uh, when, when you said Kurt Rambis that made me happy because when I was a kid that was the greatest basketball of all time was the LA Lakers and the Boston Celtics and th- there was a time when two rivals would walk up and shake hands before the match yeah and and then they murdered each other. They hated each other. Yes. But before the match, there was respect and stuff like that. So they're, they're, I love the fact that you, somebody who's not from here, like remembers like the, the teams from that. Like that's cool. Like I'm not a big sporty guy, but I, I do like when people play with honor and respect and you know dignity and stuff. Well, they were not making many dollars. You know, those even the baseball guys were like born storm. They would play for the real team and then they would ride trains and play like tiny games. They're like strippers. You know, they just go here and do some <laughs> stripping. They go guy? to Vegas, wait, wait. but off season Tampa. Yeah. Which guys are you referring to? Like, like which? St- well, sorry, Larry Bird's like, real name. Like early baseball guys, or who? You're early playing? baseball, but also basketball. <laughs> These dudes are huge dudes. They are playing, fl- flying like Pan American flights, you know, to go play the Seventy Sixers right. and things. I heard. I'm I'm big into true crime <coughs> uh, podcast. Oh, my throat is. I've never hyped like that. Yeah. Um, by the way, Dan, for real, what? that was amazing. That was Your high standing was fucking stupendous. <laughs> uh, I, a, I, I lost my voice just listening to you do that. That was fucking... There's a true crime story about a guy whose story is all about what a great basketball player he was and how good he could have been and that his life like kind of took these weird turns and he ends up disappearing without a trace. But uh, one of the chapters of his life was that... Is it Lonzo Ball? Or who, who was it? That's... Wait, is that... I, no, 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 no. Oh. That's a shot fired. Sorry. This is oh, rude. I, oh, oh, oh. That's, that's like a basketball yeah, guy yeah, that, yeah. You're, that yeah, the, the joke would be it's that rude, he's bad. Rude, rude, yeah, yeah. Because I, t- I was like, wait, maybe that's the guy's name, Definitely I think. Definitely not, no. Um, <laughs> but part, part, of, part of the guy's life was that <clears throat> he was invited. He, he, he kept failing out of it. He's like, he got into this college, and then, but he couldn't, he couldn't hack it. And really, he, his uh, addiction, like, it's like, like his, his path of uh, successes and failures was a roller coaster ride. And then at one point, he was tapped to play in the Harlem Globetrotters, which is like, it's like to imagine the, the Globetrotters are out there still being like the Blue Man group. Like, yes. like I, I'm so curious about what it takes to be a Globetrotter and what their shows are like. Do st- you think there's still Harlem Globetrotters? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And they're amazing. Yeah. They're, and, yeah. and, and so you, do you buy tickets? Like, do they hold, they, they must hold them at the same arenas as regular sporting events, obviously. Yes, usually not the very large arenas, but slightly smaller. But yes, it's also like the, not the pro pros, but the people that are like... When I was a kid, we'd, we'd, go, see, we'd go to the, uh, the LA Forum and see them play. And it was like the circus meets sports. And it was like they were clowns. And, and, but also, they were ridiculously skilled. Because like Meadowlark Lemon and uh, fuck Curly, like those guys, the shit that they, they could do was like a, like a magic trick. So they would just come out. You would, it was like it was like a that was like pro wrestling, but it yeah. was like and they played the Washington Generals, who yeah. always lost. Although I think the, not the, always the Generals like won like a, a couple, few, a few, a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they would yeah. also like come out with a bucket of water and then throw it. But it was confetti. Yeah, every so time. You, yeah. you know all about the Globetrotters. I watched. They came to Germany. 
They and and, and like was it was it uh, was it the original guys or was it like uh, it, it couldn't have been the. It was not like a so there was like the end one mixtape tour. This is very boring. But there was a time in the two thousands where like the professor and AO and all of these guys were like became you knew each of those guys. The Globetrotters to me were never my era of that was not like this is a famous man who was good at the thingy thing. No, no, now they're just I, I don't know if they're just guys that you know, ha- had a knee injury and can't really play in the NBA anymore. But what they have is like incredible like juggling skills and clown skills. It's, have you seen this YouTube dude perfect? It's like five dudes that do like crazy tricks. No. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, call them the Globetrotters <coughs> are like this before this. They're, have you, they're, have they're, you seen the YouTube video? Wait, did you? I was just gonna for context. The dude perfect is if I like I threw a ball and it landed like on someone's nose who's across the stage, and well, then it's t- like, oh like shit! A, I was just gonna say there's a like a a Korean woman or something. Someone there's not. some video of like a there's some there's some woman Gesundheit. that does that. Like, like she is a. She does. I don't see gender. It could be a woman. It yeah. Be Dan doesn't see gender either or race. Well, it's that's amazing. why she could be Japanese, and I might be racist. But it's a, it's because <laughs> I don't see anything. Um, it, 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 like, but there's a, it's a whole YouTube video of like her just doing that shit. It's like it's like the it's like the globetrotter version of parkour. Like it's just, it's her like walking by a laundromat and then someone's like you forgot your jacket and then she throws a can of pepsi and the pepsi like hits a skateboarder and the jacket like hangs on a hook i i, I do a bad job of improvising the thing. yeah it's, it's all that that's shit. like it's, what dude perfect does yeah. yeah she's like walking up a staircase and throws a thing over her shoulder yes. and it like it like makes a guy that was about to yes. eat poison not eat poison <laughs> yes. so, all yeah. while shitty rocks like bam, 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 bam. <laughs> it's like a pawn but t- tricks <laughs> i wonder if she i would it's a, like like because it's like she'll do a thing like she'll she'll she sidekicks a uh soda uh cap off of the bottle oh the bottle cap challenge um i wonder i wonder who's ripping off who or if they both are like students of some gene autry that <laughs> that did it kind of shitty like hey and he kind of like went like this and did, three then, times out of ten throw me an ice cube throw me Bro, a single ice cube is it gonna be dude perfect Oh God! <laughs> did did that go in the in the piano? Let's okay, say yes. Good. Let's say yes. That would have been a dude perfect. Wait, did you really want an ice cube, or did you want me to oh, dude it's, perfect? It's by it? the leg. Okay, I, I, as long as it's not inside the piano. Oh, I, I didn't know there was a size of golf balls. <laughs> oh, what did you? Why did you not oh, know? You want to? You you want to? You want to throw the dirty? Okay, win win. Oh, he's duding perfect. Close my eyes. Why is that important? <laughs> it's like William Tell. There's only one reason you want me to do that. He's going to no, just, just peg like you in the fun. nose. <laughs> is this to every Harmon town? It's More or just, less, yeah. Just 20 minutes of no. This are, we are in toss our, this cube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Toss Wait, the who's cube. Got it Close your eyes. Who's got it in the front row? The, the, no the, one's got it in the front row. It's behind the speaker. No it's just going to melt right here by the... That could be good. Any other sports? <laughs> now imagine if your eyes were closed during that. <laughs> Think about how amazing that what would be. It, what if it went That's in? Cool. What if it went in? What if it hit me on the head, bro? That would have been... Yeah. yeah. You guys watching Succession? No. I started... Everyone's loving it. The finale just happened. Did you see the finale? I think I might be one episode behind. I may, may not have seen the finale. Me neither. Yeah. It grew on me a lot real fast. I've just started. I'm behind. Yeah. It, 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 grows, on you, it grows on you quick. Do you Is have it? a favorite person? I, y- yes. Oh. Who might it be that person? Kendall. I like, I, like, I like Kendall now. I knew it. Because uh, I, 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 I like his journey. Yeah. I like that he's become a husk, and that the husk actually reveals like a core. The because the core was never allowed. Yeah, a, a million reasons. Father son stuff. I like like I, I I Kendall was somebody that I I was like I I I was like fuck this junkie, you know. And then like through that conduit, I like I was like oh shit. Like it was, it's it's I, I think I think that's the magic of that show is it's like sucking people in or that's the magic of television that if you just watch one thing long that's why enough they call people it get a, you know addicted. Oh damn! 
Uh, anyways, but uh, what else? Uh, look, here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, wait, I had a, I had a, I, I had an idea. You had a thing. I, yeah, I had an idea a second ago. Is it really my job to make sure the show is like a show? No, it's Jeff's job. Shall I ask a side question while you ponder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, is one of the guys a brother of Macaulay Culkin on the show? <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and he's quite good. And I, I would, I would, I would, I would recommend to people that they not know that when they start watching the show. Agree. And that they're reminded of it after they've watched a couple Credits. episodes, because yeah. that will make you go, "Holy shit! Wow! What a what a what an impact!" Yes. Uh, Does that give you enough time? <laughs> I got I got enough time. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, because because Cody eventually said to me, "You know who that is?" And I'm like, "I don't care who it is. I'm just enjoying him." And she was like. That's a, that's a Culkin. And I'm like, all right, I'm glad I didn't know that. Oh, I meant, did I buy you enough time? Right. Oh, oh yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 you did not. Because I, I can only do one thing at once. Yeah, so. I caught it. Cool, cool. Uh, I uh, watched on the plane, then. I'll, I'll, I'll solve for you. I watched on the plane ride home from Minneapolis this morning. Uh, the One of the two Firefest uh, documentaries. Hulu is on the Delta flights. You saw that one, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah that is uh, it's pretty fucked up. The tribal warfare between the two fire documentaries is really funny to me. We have friends who worked on one or the other, and I'm always losing track. I think I've seen them both, and I think I'm pretty much like, yeah, I don't like we're not in the tank for either fire documentary. It seems like fire. I, was I don't a think shit show. I don't think you need to see two of those. I I, I just wanted to find <laughs> out, like, oh, it was a bunch of douchebags. So I, I think that's all you need to know out of that, right? It's yes. a that's a yeah, it's a fucked up glimpse at, at everything. I did have a, I had a weird experience where I was like, because there's there, there's one of them where there's one of the guys who like does the whole monologue about how he uh, he was he was allegedly willing to blow a guy for oh, water, yes. and that that okay, kinda, I did not see that. That's one. not the Hulu one. That sounds like the better one. If you see the clip, the guy is like he becomes your hero like, yes. I, because he's so sincere. He's like, no, I like he's unapologetic about it. He, he's also not unapologetic in the 4chan way he's just sort of he is who he is and he's like no so and then I'm thinking okay I'm gonna have to blow this guy in order to get water and, and, and he just tells the story and you're kind of like oh god there's something so refreshing about his sincerity he would be a great hype man <laughs> <laughs> uh... But I was I I, I freak out. <laughs> do, 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 I was, was saying that same no. thing. I was at I was at a party and I was like talking about that. I was like, oh, did you see that clip? And I was telling somebody. I was like, this guy, like he becomes your hero. And I was just saying the same thing, which I thought was like, it's not that really that big a position. And there was somebody there that was like, they chiseled away at it. They were like, really those. Th th those fucking people and that culture of this and that and they kind of like by the end of them speaking I was like oh yeah I kind of bought into some bullshit like I th like this person kind of like problematized my worship of some guy that was willing to suck dick for water on camera <laughs> It it, it 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 was a it was an interesting experience. It made me withdraw more from humanity because you you really can't enjoy anything. Yeah, you can't you can't even just like poke your head out of the hole and go like that charred human skin is glinting in the sunlight. I'll call that a gem, and then someone will go, "That makes you racist," and you're like, mm, "I'll be big down here." Uh, you can poo poo on anything. Is what I've learned. Yeah, you can. You can. You can. I don't want to call it problematizing because uh, because that politicizes it. But it, I think it's like bubble bursting. Like people love to take down. People love it's to. So fun. They love to be ironic. Yeah. You want to walk onto a playground where one thing is happening, and you want to be the person that says, "What about the other thing?" Yeah. I can't believe people were upset when they found out Blink One Eighty Two wasn't going to be there. That seems like. <laughs> 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 The greatest news I would have ever heard. I'm like, okay, I fucking would have paid double for that shit. Blink-182. Go fuck yourselves. Wow. I really wish I could remember wow. the one thing. I think I had one thing that I really wanted to get to, and I can't Speaking remember Speaking of what things, was. all the small things, not a good song. <laughs> no? You don't I, enjoy it? I don't know who... I, is that a song? Yeah, from Blink-182. Can you sing it? All the small things. That's it. That's the song. All right. When I yeah. say all things, you say... Small. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you can't even you can't that you no one has the will to hype man blink one eighty two. They are their own hype men. They are what blink. Should we meet should we meet MLE eight eight oh five, the 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 workout? That's an audience fan? member. Is that is it 
uh, you, are you willing to come up, MLE? Who? Yeah. That's an odd number. All right. Number. What, come up. What's your name? MLE. It's MLE805. MLE805. Um, wait, 805? She's, she's the George Washington of my Instagram workout. She's been there since the beginning. Good to meet you in person. Have a seat. This is uh, Flula Borg. Hello. Right. Hello, Emily. Emily, are you, are you Emily by, by trade, or, or is Emily a crazy coincidence? Emily was a nickname given to me, so I've just used it. So you're Emily. Emily. Emily's my birth name. Okay. Right. right. M L E. Is 805 an area code you're associated with? In the name. Do you rep the 805? What's your address? <laughs> I'm just saying because I'm the last four of your social security number. <laughs> Which insect are you most scared of having a box of placed on your head in your sleep? Uh, 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 sp- spiders, arachnophobia. If someone had night vision goggles, what entrance is the most vulnerable uh, on the perimeter of the apartment And what's building? your work schedule? <laughs> oh, I have a business card for you, Dan. I was going to give it to you. A business and it has card? your work yeah. schedule on it? No, but it oh. has my uh, business name on it. How impressed are you that I've kept working out for a year and a half? <laughs> Uh, it's a loaded question. You can DH, either say... DH, you have inspired uh, not only me, but uh, the celestial Vikings of the chat. There's just so many Whoa. people. You have... D- between you and Dave Klein, um, I can tell you it's not only affected me. You are just impressive. I'm impressed. It's, uh, I've had, I have a picture from you from the first Harmontown that I attended. Oh, man. If I can be honest. Can, can I, may I be honest? Yeah, no, go ahead. Kind of schlumpy. Well... Yeah, who would think? You know, but, uh, and then I'm here now. <laughs> it's kind of a lot, but like. Was that an imitation you from out there? Or is it Dave? sounds like yeah. a real one. No, it was me. It, no, oh, no, no, no. no, no it's just it's, is Dave Klein oh. here today? Oh, oh, shit, that, that was, was good. A good imitation. That was a proper you. We have Bark Wizard here, yeah. fellow what, chat. Oh, Bark what's Wizard. A, yeah. What's a celestial Viking? Dave Klein has uh, given us, or given, just. <sighs> He came up with that name for the for Dan because uh, so Dan's a celestial Viking. Yes, okay. and there well, are many though. Am, he... like, Dave Klein believes that uh, there that, that there's a group of uh, chosen people who will go into outer space or something like that. That sounds we will up. Up. That, That's right. kind of the Harmontown right. like er, early motto it's or what credo. This show started with before it died, <laughs> and. So it is a, a a funny kind of like yeah, but he he it's it's a uh, yeah like uh, Dave Dave Klein is like uh, I I I I will say like the crazy thing uh, sorry Flula it, it, why it, I I start <laughs> I started Instagramming my workouts because I was like it's the only way I'm gonna keep working out like if I just like. It, it, it was like this Instagram live feature. It was sort of like this thing that to me suggested like vanity and like influentialness or whatever it's something that like i was like the only way i'm going to be able to like get on an elliptical and like do these things Spend about, seventeen thousand uh, dollars on gopros yeah and then it was like, like well that came later but like and then i was like like okay this is a joke i'm working out it's like if matt Groening started working out on like instagram live i was like I, I know this is funny and if i have a heart attack and die it'll be funny like i i, I <laughs> And then, and then, like, like it just went. It, it kept going. And I kept doing it. And then I ran into Dave Klein at a bar at the drawing room, at, 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 like around New Year's. And he was like, oh, "Brother, I, uh, uh, if you ever want me to come by," and I was like, "Dude, I'm not working out with you. You're not going to be my trainer. If you want to come by and hold my Instagram camera, that's the thing you can do." And he's like, "Absolutely, yoop, yoop, yoop." And <laughs> He had this way of like coming in low, and I was like, I was like, I trust you. Then you can do it. Whereas, like as I've said, like any normal trainer, I would just be like, after a point when they're like, "Fuck you, motherfucker, you can do this," I'd be like, "You're fired." <laughs> and, but Dave, you can't. It's like he's just coming over and he expects the best of you, and he's like, and I'm like, okay, hold the camera, and then he like held it, and then he's like, how about this? I don't even know how he did it. How did he? It's like he's got me doing fucking yoga and lifting weights. I bought a weight bench. I have a gym in my home. It's amazing. It's amazing. Anyway, he, he, he slid you into the, your DMs. Your, are you your in the suicide DM. squad or what? Why are you? I'm not in the suicide squad. I'm, I'm and, not, the, and you don't have to be. <laughs> James Gunn tweeted to, it. I don't know. Yeah, well, I t- <laughs> Dan's in a Dan's in a different kind of suicide squad. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
<laughs> not it's anymore. Me, not anymore. Hunter Thompson, Spalding Gray. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's called alcoholism. When you when you don't want the job done, <laughs> and there's only one job. Oh, founded by River Phoenix, isn't yeah. that one? Yes. Yeah, got it, got it. <laughs> got it. Yeah. Rest in peace, it's, River. Uh, it, it, the, the groan was like, too soon. Like, no, to get, get out in front of it. But uh, <laughs> I, I've known Dan for a good long time, and when he got his pool, when, or, to know Dan is to know that he's not a big, you're not a water child. You're not a water baby. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, uh, <laughs> Jeff hates to imagine Dan in a pool. <laughs> it's like, it's a year-long obsession. With Dan not being a pool guy. He's more afraid of me being in a pool than I was of water. <laughs> but when I first saw Dan at his new crib with the giant-ass pool, he, he, Dan lives at a Spanish resort, apparently, like in like Granada. And uh, he, uh, he, had, he had little nose plugs, but now no nose plugs. Whoa. Yeah. And now you're doing kicky flips under, under, underneath yum, the yum. water yeah. with, without the nose plugs. That, that, yeah. that, that, and diving in is also, that, that's a big... Uh, like no pun intended, uh, that's a big leap. Yeah, I'm real <laughs> proud of myself, uh, and I don't want to. I, I know, I know, be. I know from the uh, previous side of the of the of the fitness class how alienating and boring and shitty it is for people to be like, eh, it's so good, but it's so like, but you know, I, I'm just I, like, like they I, make a good point though. It's uh, <laughs> it's 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 fantastic, and I'm, I'm so glad I did it, and and I owe it to like like so there's literally like 35, 40 people who who will show up on a regular basis and. You've always been one of them. What? But I don't know anything about you by intention because I'm like, like, oh, let's get to know these people. But I like, I like to form relationships with them in the moment and reward them for being there. But who are you? Just a small town girl <laughs> living in a lonely world. Living in the Central Coast. Um, I invite you up there anytime to stay. It's beautiful in the 805. What's um, the central coast? Like uh, you know, like two hours north like of Santa Barbara. Oxnard. Uh, oh, you don't want to give. Up, you don't want to be triangulated. Bakersfield. Yeah. Uh, no, central coast. So like the coastal oh. areas, like San Luis Obispo, oh, Pismo go. Beach area, <laughs> a lot of dunes, slow town. Yeah. I saw you. I saw you at Cal Poly at the PAC. Uh, most your most recent uh, oh, really? show there. I, I did. I was oh, there, Jeff. Damn. I did scroll through the comments and saw because you were like, people are like, oh, Emily's going to be at the show. And you ask Cody for the chords to the four food oh, group song, shit. but I, do you you don't? What's the four What's the four food group song? I don't think Hashtag I have the Hashtag uh, Harmon Music Tag. I might. I like. I I wonder if I would have them like in here. If I did, would you have sing a, the four food group song? Wait, is it something yes, you wrote yes. then, or something that Emily can, wrote? I have a it's guitar. A, or, it's a song that I I improvised. I don't have, but and then do we need instruments? I would or love we, to. Or just you're, you're going to do your app based stuff. I don't have it in here, so can you're you, all off the. Can, hook. can you just freestyle it? No. <laughs> I mean, well, well, what's the what's the uh, what's the beats per minute of the song? Do you do you know? Ninety five. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I got that. <laughs> Well, she listen, knows the BPM. Maybe, on maybe this? Slow, it, slow it down. I maybe like know. like eighty five. Well, listen to this. Some of it. Wait. No, uh, no, that sounds fast. That's like. Yeah. That sounds. It's like one hundred and four <laughs> BPM. That's awful. <clears throat> on a train bound over. It sounds like the Gambler by Kenny Rogers. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna That's look at song, J- Jeff. Tell a story about you meeting Vince Neil at nine eleven or something. Someone and thanks I, I, you. I, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna look in GarageBand just to see if I have. I it never in there. met him at 9/11, but I did meet him at a in a hotel lobby, and uh, I was with uh, what's his name uh, Triumph an insult comic. Uh, what's his name? Dog, Schmeigel, and Schmeigel was we, we were watching the Lakers play. Okay, it was. It, <laughs> <laughs> and he's in. They were in the finals, and. Uh, I was sitting in the lobby of a hotel to meet Schmeigel, and he was standing in the way of the screen, and uh, and Vince Neil was like, bro, 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 you're in the way. And Schmeigel took like 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 10 minutes to freaking figure out where like, he was, oh, I'm standing in, in between you and the screen. And later I was like, he's like, who's that guy? I'm like, it was Vince Neil. And, uh, and he's like, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> And then as we're walking through the lobby, I get bumped by a dude by accident, and I, and I hear a guy go, oh, I'm sorry, mate. And I'm walking through, and he goes, Smigel goes, that was Elvis Costello. 
I go, so I got the shitty end of that stick. Like, you, you, you got yelled at by Vince Neil, and I, I, I could have met Vin, uh, Elvis Costello. All, All right, right. You, time is up, it. Dan. Go ahead. I don't have it. Oh. But if you wait, I you, made that whole the story up. You, you, you asked Cody for the chord progression. Do you remember it? I could just type it into my chord box. It's on my phone. Well, assistant, please. What? Uh, you got an assistant? It's on my phone. I wish. MLE eight hundred five has. A, oh, come on. All right. Not what's the it. what's the fuck? I, I'm not leaving here until I hear the four food group song. I just want to know what the yes. four Can food group. Yes. Thank you. Do the do the piano? Does the piano work? Do the yeah. piano. Can you play? There's no. There's uh, there, there no one. Well, knows. if you know the Jeff, chords, do the piano. If you know the know chords, the chords. You. you don't know the chords. <sighs> Salami. Is that one of them? <laughs> yes. Like, 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 let's just... Uh, it's my favorite police song. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> salami, uh, salami, salami, <clears throat> salami. Hey, Flula. Yes. Uh, wh- wh- why the silly name? What? Whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. All right. Wait, wait, why is that now all of a sudden out of bounds? <laughs> I, I you can compare me to Nazis. You can <laughs> accuse me of starting <laughs> wars. You make fun of my name, I do to on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, they're, they're just itching for it. They, they're like, bring the show to content. a climactic conclusion. Someone what, eats wait, someone's what's face. Oh, We're not leaving here until we... If, if, even if you I have to write a I new... I can't host the show and then hunt my phone for yes, a chord can. progression for a thing. No, okay, someone okay, has, okay, to, okay, someone okay, has to take see, over. I, I, I will come to... All right. C... Flula. Yes. D. Is Flula a common German name or no. is that no? I have hippie parents. Is, wait, wait, hippie parents. Is, is Flula does it have a meaning or is it just kind of a it's made just up? Just like we're drunk. They, they're just drunk. Wait, they were drunk. Okay. Wait, does Jeff have a meaning so of secrets? C- I think Jeffrey means friendly in some Germanic thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. yeah, like like early Germanic. Okay. But uh, but Flula is, is it like a, a, is that is there is, are there other Flulas in the in the world? Not anymore. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm like Joffrey when he finds out about the bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the ending of uh, Game of Thrones? I'm just a loaded question. Everyone says no. Because you're just sad because you got no, broken I'm, up I'm, with. I'm Not you. The general you is sad because we were broken up with by our show. Of course it could have been better and longer. I thought they rushed it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was just kind of. Yeah. Everyone died that should have died, but it's just the way they died. I thought was not the best. Uh, what do you feel about uh, the poet Rilke? That's Rilke. A, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rainer Maria Rilke is perfect. The, der Tiger. Yeah. Der Panther. Oh, yeah. so perfect. Yes, yes, yes. My mama's favorite poem. Yeah. He, he's the saddest, but the. But, but the well, they're all sad. It's just a gray it's like a spectrum. <laughs> it's a spectrum of sad. But Rilke is. is how do you say it? Rilke. Rilke. R I L K E. I've only read it in translation. I've never read it in the German, but I imagine it's, it's, it's more. I'll read it to you over some breakfast if you want at some point. Oh, my God. I'll, I'll meet I, you at House I, of I, I'm not lying. I just got a partial <laughs> boner. Just got a partial. You got a partial erection. Yes. Oh, but you. <laughs> Jeff you, fucking you, loves breakfast. You, yeah, I, I got an uh, er, er, erection. Oh, so you just got an erection. A real cushion. Oh, a, a real cushion. <laughs> I'm Dan. I'm, I'm, I'm stalling for you, up. baby. I, 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 Have like, you ever been to New York? The city. Yeah. Well, I've been. Yes. Uh, uh, there's a uh, fantastic uh, gallery there called the Neue Gallery, which is all German and. Uh, Polish and Czechoslovakian, like Eastern European artwork, and it's uh, an Austrian uh, gallery, and they have like Gustav Klimt and uh, uh, Egon Schiele, and the the uh, the artwork is fantastic. It's the the lady in gold. You oh know. yes, the Klimt with the breast out, and the the head the head of uh, her, her, her from DC is oh, scheiße. She's holding a severed head. <laughs> I've not seen that one. Oh yeah, look closely. But the. Uh, <laughs> If, you, if you're ever in New York, y'all, and if I haven't talked about this before... Where I, are you from, y'all? Uh, I, 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 why do I say what y'all? What happened? I see, I see Howdy and y'all, and I'm from Los Angeles. Oh. That's problematic now. People don't like that. <laughs> Fuck y'all. No, I say y'all, too. I've, I, I say y'all, but yeah. people get mad. It's actually... But if you ever go to New York, go to the New York Gallery, oh, uh, N-E-U... Faster than that, right? E-R, and then go... Uh, you go have cake I mean, and the... Uh, the for this. I can take it. Cafe Sabarsky. <laughs> And they have uh, Austrian cake down there, and it's just the best. And you walk upstairs, and you've got all the Think great... Think of a joke as you walk up. But, yeah, but yeah. as you leave, the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 guest, uh, the, uh, the gift shop is all like... There's this real Kafka, like all, all the like, great German uh, Rodenbach, and uh, like it's all the sadness. The sadness is there. You can feel it. You oh, can yeah. touch it. Oh, you, you can, can drink it. it. Touch it, yeah. All right. Did you guys have fun? Yes. 
Thank you. That, that was me stalling German style. Well done. You ready Thanks. to try this? Let's let's give it a let's give it an E for effort. Okay. And Emily. Oh, let's give it Whoa. a C. <laughs> All right, here let's we give go. Give it a C sharp. And an F for food groups. For you, but there aren't as many as there are things to do with your food. Ooh, you can eat in any mood, but take care when you eat anywhere. Uh. Tender little drops of protein, little baby gravy fries. One of those things is bad, the other is a nice surprise. Do you reward yourself for eating well? You can take a trip to the wishing well. Grilled cheese and Dairy Queen. Black, Black History, History Halloween, any time, time of, the, of year. the year. Nutrition is nothing to fear. Take care of your temple, temple. it will take care of you. There are four, four food groups, but, but there's, there's only one of you. Uh, uh. Cliffhanger! Those are, those are the moments you miss when you miss my workout. Let's give it up. Thank you, Emily805. Oh, wow. Our special guest, Flula Borg. Flula! Flula Borg! Thank you. Thank you. Yo, uh, Zach, as we're, as we're applauding around, put a beat on here now. Uh, let's let Flula hype our way out of this, uh, out of this show. Uh, Are you ready to leave? Yes! <laughs> There we go. Give it up for Spencer Crittenden, your game master extraordinaire. Church down there on the photography. I'm your comptroller, Jeff Davis, your mayor, Dan Harmon. Flula, hype us out. Harm it down, harm it down, baby, yeah! When I say Spence, you say, uh, uh Spence! Uh, Spence! Uh, when I say Juh, uh, you say F! Juh! Uh, Juh! Uh, when I say Emily, you say 805 Emily! 805! That was tricky, I know. <laughs> when I say Dan, you say Harm and Dan! Harm and Dan! Do you call that hype, Flula? Oh! Oh, it is no. I, your father. Hi, Daddy. When I say parenthood, you say obedience. Parenthood. Obedience. Parenthood. Obedience. I am the powerful, phallic German god. He man. He man. Yes. Well, it, it started like this. Yes. Yeah, of, yeah. The, of the of, of the the Nuremberg yeah. Hemans. Yes. That, uh, sorry, my mic stand is. Daddy, Daddy, why did you ignore me every time I had a question, Daddy? Because when I said something, you never said something. And it always made me mad. This is turning into Father and Son by Cat Stevens. <laughs> Do you enjoy having a father? Sometimes. <laughs> I when miss you when you're dead. <laughs> True. When I say death, you say grief. Grief. When death, you say death. Grief. Wait, sorry. sorry. Go, go. Wait. Sorry, Daddy. Sorry, Daddy. Blula! Yes. Yes, Daddy. I'm here to take your hype away. Please take it. I've held it for too long. It's I like want a you to potato. hype the end of time. <laughs> time. 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 You. Time. You. Does everyone here you. know everything will come to an end eventually? Tick. Does everyone here know that all of their efforts are in vain? Does everyone here know that nothing matters and there are no absolute truths? Nihilism. <laughs> Daddy Downer! Daddy Downer! Daddy Downer! Make yeah. me sad! Oh, Sit me in He's the sauna. hyping me! I No, I've never been hyped before! Oh! I... Oh! Oh, I hit you oh. with my positivity! No. Look at me, I'm yes. so happy, yes. happy! No. Yes, daddy, yes, daddy, no. yes, daddy, yes! Daddy, yes. Oh. I wash you with this shit and now you'll be blessed! Oh. Now come back and arise! Oh. Feel happy and alive on your nice peloton! Oh. Every single day with Davy Clyde! Oh. Daddy, oh. you're feeling fine! Oh. He has ended my no-budding! <laughs> Nihilism has been... 
undercut and meta framed into positivity. Death has become life, ironically, at the hands of a German. Sorry again for everything, everything, everything. Enjoy your night. Walk with a buddy at Hancock Park. Be safe. Thank Everybody you for coming home and telling everybody. Quilla. Drive fast and take chances. Flula Borg, everyone. Thank you. Emma Lee 805. Thank you, thank you. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.